Stop lang ako ha. Charges were given program by our city. They were given livelihood programs. They will. Uh, they are being employed by the government. But still, despite of that livelihood program, because of the topography, they were visits by those uh, NPAs. That is why the the yung mga programa medyo na papasok then no sa nakita natin as of now wala tayong uh, battalions ngayon doon so lack of the presence coming from the AFP and the PNP as well so the program will just uh, stay for i think a year or five years then right after may infiltrate ulit eh so as per observation no uh, it is very effective if there is a presence coming from the AFP and the PNP and to follow the live blow program will be sustainable to that effect, uh, Mr. Senator. Thank Mr. you, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, Senator Antiveros. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Dahil uh, on board kanina si Gov Tegamo, pwede ba akong mag-follow up questions sa kanila? Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Gov, um, sabi nga po na uh, yung mga incidents na nangyayari uh, sa Ayungon, sa Gihulngan. Um, may I know what your office uh, is doing against these killings po? First, uh, I strongly condemn the killings. And I issued statement that uh, we cannot win peace by bullets or by armed struggle. We cannot. And I am strongly denouncing the acts kasi Inaamin ng NPA na sila ang pumatay doon sa apat na mga polis. So I strongly denounce, I strongly denounce and uh, condemn them of their acts. Yan ang una kong, you know, pati na rin yung namatay na iba, na kinukondem din ako rin kung uh, yung ginawa nila. So uh, ang ginawa ko uh, ay, ay, ay called an emergency, emergency meeting sa PPOC and then uh, uh, nag uh, PPOC meeting ako and then uh, I, I directed the provincial director uh, then Colonel Takaka through a direct order uh, to do something to do something in his power na mapigil itong uh, mapigil itong patayan because uh, Hindi ito, ma, hindi ito maganda tingnan sa probinsya. It will affect the economy. So, yun ang uh, ginawa ko, ma'am. Salamat ka, Ayogov. Uh, we've also heard that different local government officials are themselves taking security precautions. Kasi meron na rin po tayong mga LGU officials na nabiktima. Uh, what about you, Governor? Kumusta po yung security nyo? Uh, totoo po ba na yung PNP security escorts nyo pinull out? Uh, no on yun, na pull out because may mga certain procedures siguro na antindihan ko naman and then uh, binalik naman nila binalik naman so sa security basta nandiyon nandun yung police salig man sa kanila so meron naman pa yung po kayong PNP security escort na ngayon saka uh, secretary Lunisana when I went to his office nagbigay din siya ng uh, army sa akin so, meron po kayong Army, NP, and P-Security sa ngayon, Agon? Yes po. Yes po, ma'am. Okay, that's good to hear. Salamat uh, kayo, uh, Mr. Chair. Before we continue, I would like to acknowledge the presence of Senator Drillon, sir. Alam mo, Gobernur, yan na lang palaging, uh, kung ano eh, palaging halos lahat ng probinsya na binalikan ng NPA Diba, for a while, yung Negros Island declared niya na wala nang problema, diba? Nung nangyari yung Marawi siege, pinull out yung mga batalyons dinala sa Marawi. Doon, naobserbahan natin, start na naman sila nagsimula, diba? So meaning, yung, yung presensya ng, ng army batalyons doon ay kinakailangan talaga, but luckily we don't have uh, the leadership of the AAP nandito ngayon. Yung kwal na kayo, ano, sino ang dito sa military? Sa, uh, human, rights, uh, sa office. human Rights Office po ako, sir. Ah, okay. uh, dito sa Army, sir. You yeah. have nothing to do with deployment? Yes, sir. But anyway, please, uh, ganito. We, we cannot, uh, yung initial plan natin, na 
we will tackle yung uh, events na nag-transpire doon. Yung mga killings one by one eh, in uh, chronological order kasi wala naman pala. Nag-regrets pala yung mga invited natin na mga supposed to be resource persons. So, baguhin na lang natin itong concept, yung ating Mr. Chair. flow. Yes, uh, Senator Tiberos. Mr. Chair, para at least partly masunod yung planong flow nyo, meron naman din po akong mga tanong para sa uh, ilan sa mga killing, uh, killings na nasa resolution ko po. If I may, Mr. Chair. Sige, uh, sa sa saan natin banda? Para uh, ma ma for, for, for example yung... po, dahil nabanggit po kanina yung uh, ayungon at saka yung gihulgan, Uh, I'd like to ask some questions about uh, those various incidents. Mr. Sige, please, go ahead. Uh, Salamat kayo, Mr. Chair. Um, Unang-una po, gusto ko pong makiramay sa mga pamilya ng mga PNP personnel natin na uh, pinatay sa Ayungon noong uh, July po, last year, 2018. Uh, pakikiramay po sa mga pamilya at sa mga kasama sa uh, PNP Nina Corporal Relebert Beronio, Patrolman Rafi Caliao, Patrolman Ruel Cabellon, at Patrolman Marquino de Leon. Um, nakikisa ako sa wish nyo para sa hustisya na mabigay sa mga mahal nyo sa buhay at sa mga kasama nyo sa PNP. Uh, gusto kong itanong, Mr. Chair, sa Negros Oriental uh, Police Force kung kumusta na po ba yung mga kaso kaugnay nung apat na PNP personnel natin at tama po ba na yung naaresto ay pinaghihin nila ang miyembro ng NPA na responsable sa pamamaril sa apat? Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, anybody from the PNP? Um, you recognize uh, General Sarona. Um, honorable uh, uh, Chairman, distinguished members of this committee, your honors, uh, other distinguished guests, and uh, resource persons, ladies and gentlemen, magandang uh, umaga po sa inyong lahat. Um, first of all, on behalf of uh, the Chief PNP, Police uh, General Oscar David Albayalde, allow me to emphasize that your Philippine National Police strongly condemns to the highest degree the spate of killings that transpired in Negros Oriental last July of 2019. We would also like to extend our sincere Condolences to the bereaved families and friends of the victims of the aforesaid killings. Rest assured that your PNP will not just sit back, but instead will do its very best to ensure that justice will be served. For inviting and allowing your PNP to participate in this activity, allow me to express our gratitude to the Honorable Committee. Through this committee hearing, your PNP will have this valuable opportunity to inform everyone that we are taking this matter seriously and that all efforts are being undertaken to accomplish our noble endeavor to prevent and control crimes, maintain peace and order, and ensure public safety and security. To spearhead the investigative efforts of your PNP, special investigation task groups, or SITGs, were organized and activated by your PNP upon occurrence of killings of lawyers, elected government officials, and the like. Just exactly what your PNP did upon the occurrence of the spate of killings in Negros Oriental. The SITG is composed of various competent personnel from the concerned offices and units of the PNP, like the CIDG, the Intelligence Group, Crime Laboratory, and the Legal Service. To, to provide this honorable committee the latest updates and shed light on the spate of killings in Negros Oriental and other areas, with me are the concerned personnel of the Police Regional Office 7, led by no less than its Regional Director, Police Brigadier General Debold Sinas. Also, here with me are the following per per pertinent officers from your PMP who will give their respective inputs in today's committee hearing. We have the staff of uh, uh, PRO7, the uh, former provincial director of the Gross Oriental, as well as the incumbent uh, provincial director of uh, said uh, province. We have the deputy CIDG, the executive of officer of the DIDM and the Internal Affairs Service. Lastly, 
I hope that appropriate legislation can be enacted through this committee hearing so that your PNP will be able to further improve its services and perform its sworn duty to serve and protect the Filipino people and our beloved country. At this juncture, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, may I request that uh, the Police Regional Office 7 uh, Regional Director, uh, uh, Brigadier General uh, De Bolsi, does be acknowledged. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The RDO of Perro 7 is uh, recognized. Go ahead. Thank you very much, uh, sir. Uh, to the Chairman of the Committee, to Senator Bato de la Rosa, sir. To my original idol, sir, in Pro 7, sir, Senator Pantino Laxon, sir. Uh, of course, to Senator Risa Honteveros, ma'am. Uh, to Senator uh, uh, Tolentino and Senator Dillon, sir, Mayung Buntag. I'm here to give you a significant development on the killing of the uh, four policemen and what we have done. And if you will uh, uh, give us, we'll uh, give you updates on the uh, 11 shooting incident in Negros Oriental that were uh, tasked to us. That happens on July 23 to 24, starting from the time when the four policemen were shot. Uh, we have a PowerPoint presentation, sir, if you allow us. Yes, yes go ahead. PowerPoint na din. Ano? Huh? Ngayon pa niyo inayos? Kanina pa yung nakaredy. Yes, sir. Mr. Well, Chair. Uh, the PowerPoint uh, presentation is being fixed. Can we hear from the Human Rights uh, of Region 7? Sir, please, uh, do you have any parallel investigation in this matter? Yes, uh, on behalf of the Commission on Human Rights, um, just like this August body and um, the PNP, the CHR likewise condemns, no? in its strongest term, this um, spit of killings in the Gross Oriental. And uh, we have a parallel investigation conducted. And we have here three special investigators from the CHR who went to the field and um, conducted their investigation. Meron kayong concern? Meron kayong PowerPoint presentation? O Mr. Chair? Na? Yes, uh, Senator Montaberos. Mr. Chair, kung wala po silang PowerPoint presentation, pwede akong mag-follow up question na lang sa kanila, sa CHR. Please, uh, go ahead. Salamat, Mr. Chair. Um, so, sir, does the information of CHR, yung pong mga persons nyo on the ground, nagmamatch po ba dun sa uh, information din ng PNP on these different killings? Well, medyo may kunting dis uh, disparity not accurately the same because um, uh, we always based our uh, investigation uh, moto proprio or based on what we get from our partners in media uh, because of uh, we we only have eight investigators in the region we don't have enough uh, personnel to monitor this uh, speed of killings so we greatly depend on our partners in media but we are expecting good coordination with the pnp sharing of information because we are all working for the government but unfortunately um, we have certain policies that um, or gaps that we need to address in order for us to share our information freely. 
Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Siguro sa mga particular na incidents of killings later na itatanong ng komite, I would like to explore further, Mr. Chair, both yung sinasabi ng CHR na kaunting disparity and also yung expected good coordination with the PNP moving forward. Because of course, Mr. Chair, ang CHR naman is not working for government, but working with government bilang isang independent na constitutional uh, body. Mr. Chair, maitanong ko rin lang po dun sa P, uh, AFP uh, Human Rights Office, kung yun, yun pong inyong investigations din on the ground, kung meron po, if they also match the PNP information about these different killings. You are recognized, um Morning, uh, Mr. Chair and uh, Senator Hondiveros, uh, sa amin po, based po kami sa General Headquarters, so base po sa mandate ng Human Rights Office, bawat uh, major service po ay may kanya-kanyang uh, Human Rights Office. Hanggang uh, bawat unit po, hanggang sa batalyon level, meron pong Human Rights Officer. And uh, we are still waiting po yung results pa ng investigation on, uh, that was conducted on the incidents referred to in the Senate resolution, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. And last follow-up uh, at this point, whether po yung AFP uh, Human Rights Office or yung CHR po sa uh, region, uh, what other insights could both of you share about the spate of killings or yung spike in killings sa Negros Oriental? Um, we always coordinate with the PNP, ma'am, and uh, Mr. Chair, but unfortunately, we have this policy from the PNP not to share documents or information to CHR. So we always um, advance to the PNP. We offer assistance, we offer coordination, but this policy from the national headquarters of the PNP uh, put up in the limelight now. We cannot proceed with uh, our investigation because even if our investigation in focus on is focus on the rights of the police being violated, still the PNP refuses to give us documents. In fact, um, we conducted our investigation on the killings of the four police officers in Ayungon, but unfortunately, we were not given information uh, information obtained by the PNP. Yes, Mr. Chair, could I just follow up with the, maybe the highest ranking PNP officer or official here? Totoo po ba yung ganyang klaseng national policy not to share documents with the CHR? And uh, Senator Riza, to add to, to, add to your uh, question, di ba tayo sa PNP no, when I was still active in the service, we're always complaining and complaining, bakit itong CHR, they are only after the rights of... Uh, the rebels or the civilians, pero yung rights, human rights ng PNP, hindi nila pinapangalagaan. Now that the human rights of uh, Region 7 is offering their services, bakit ayaw nating i-share? Ano-ano masasabi niyo? Bakit, bakit gano'n? Thank you, uh, <clears throat> Your Honor. Uh, basically, we have uh, protocols that uh, we follow um, reliance on the disposition of the commander on, on the ground is uh, very, very much considered, considering that uh, especially if the matter is still under investigation, of course they have the right to withhold information, especially so if the matter or the information will preju prejudice or prejudicial to the investigation that they, they, they are conducting. And uh, in... Uh, in case that uh, the matter has already been filed in uh, the prosecutor's office, of course, uh, in, in deference to the prosecutor's office, we are also getting the consent of uh, our prosecutors if they will consent to the giving out of the information. It is not that uh, we are <clears throat> withholding information to the CSR, it's just that we are, of course, after the uh, the investigation that it should not be prejudicial to the interest of the investigation your honor thank you mr chair yes, yes, Opo, uh, to continue about yung questions sa mga particular na killings lalo na sa gihulngan at sa kasa ayungon 
sa ayungon po bukod dun sa apat na PNP personnel natin, andun din yung mga uh, kaso ni na uh, Edsel and Ardesido, dating mayor ng Ayungon Town mismo, um, at si pinsan niya si Leo and Ardesido, uh, at saka there's one more from from Ayungon. But let me return to sa sa Gihulgan. Uh, nandun din si Principal Arthur Bayawa and DepEd Official Ardale Bayawa at saka si Barangay Captain Romeo Alipan ng Buena Vista. Uh, additionally sa Gihulgan, and I'd like to ask also some questions about this, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, tungkol kay uh, Attorney Anthony uh, Trinidad. Uh, first, Mr. Chair, kay former Mayor Enardesido at yung uh, pinsa nila. Uh, may news report po sa Manila Times uh, stating na it took the PNP daw one hour to arrive at the scene of the crime kahit na yung police station natin doon ay one kilometer lamang mula sa bahay ni dating uh, mayor. Totoo po ba ito or hindi po ito totoo na it took an hour to respond? Uh, Senator Risa, with your indulgence, uh if uh, uh, with your permission uh, ganito na lang gawin muna natin uh, maybe some of your questions can be answered through this powerpoint presentation we, we might as well proceed then yes, later, tuloy na lang natin yung questioning mo ha e, pakinggan mo natin itong presentation nila para makita natin yung similarities, discrepancies or whatever sa findings ng PNP at saka ng human rights at saka yung it's raw ng uh, AAP. But before that, uh, may I recognize the presence of uh, Mr. Jesus Cañete, Special Investigator ng CHR Region 7, uh, Mr. Alfred Balahula, Special Investigator of CHR, Mr. Michael Carino, Special Investigator CHR. Thank you, sir, for coming. Please uh, go ahead, uh, General Sinas. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd like to give the significant development on the killing of four policemen in uh, Ayungon, Negros Oriental. Uh, next slide. These are the four uh, persons, sir, that were uh, killed, sir. Uh, they were killed ju on July 18, 2019 at 2.30 p.m. at Chichu Yamot, Barangay Mabato, Ayungon, Negros Oriental. As of now, we have uh, filed four counts of murder against the suspects and a theft at uh, the prosecutor's officer. Now, as of today, sir, we have uh, three witnesses and we have identified 17 uh, suspects already. Two were arrested, 15 at large, at several jandos. Uh, the persons that we have arrested uh, in the course of, uh, of uh, investigation is Mr. Victor Yano Bangala Anadon Jr. He was arrested the following day, sir, because according to our witness, he was the one that guided the PNP to the site. So we immediately arrested him and uh, investigated and we filed the case at the court which was accepted by the prosecutor's office. The second person arrested was uh, Mr. Jojo Torres Ogatis. He was uh, arrested during the follow-up operations by the joint PNP and AP. We have the witnesses who were eyewitness who were in the, in the crime scene that uh, ito si Jojo Ogatis was one of the group who shot the poor policeman. And accordingly, he just said, don't know. Uh, kung he know this one, sir, kasi kapitbahay po niya to, sir. Now, these are the names of the suspect at large. Uh, Fifteen of them, sir. Uh, number eight, sir, Michael Fat Akalakas is the known uh, leader of the group. The, the one being pinpointed by another witness as the head of the group. And his right man is certain James. Aka James, sir, we are still looking for the names, and these are all uh, identified by the three witnesses that we were able to produce. Some of them, sir, at the next slide, if you will see, there's a video was given to us by our counterpart, and these are the, the names of the suspects who were identified by the suspects during the incident. So that is the latest development, sir. And after the incident, sir, at, uh, after we're given instructions and our uh, operations was uh, approved by the CPNP, we launched a plan Barn Stark 1 and 2, sir. It's a joint AEP PNP operations to track apprehend suspects in the shooting to death of the four PNP personnel 
um, of the Seventh Upward Mobile Force Company. This was launched on July 24 to August 2, sir. Of the 13, 11 days of operations, we're able to apprehend nine suspects, sir. So one of them, sir, uh, this one, sir, if you could show, they were uh, uh, arrested, all of them, during the operations, or the nine operations. Accordingly, uh, some of them were believed to be involved. However, they were not identified by the suspects. Only one, sir, which is uh, Juju Ogatis. So these are the persons uh, being arrested, and they were believed to be the armed component of the NP, sir. They were arrested in the hinterland, sir. So the basis for their arrest and detention is not done sa killing? No, sir. Illegal possession of Illegal firearms. possession of firearms. Yes, sir. There were, uh, they were, uh, they were two encounters there, sir. Uh, two were arrested and the others were uh, arrested because uh, there were small skirmishes at the hinterlands by the different units of the PNP and the AAP, sir. Three of can, them... Can we assume that uh, since the case has been elevated to the RTC, that uh, warrants of arrest have been issued against the, of course, the arrested suspects and those that are at large? May warrant na lahat? Uh, we are following it up, sir. I think uh, there is already a uh, preliminary sir, hearing. Uh, uh, we'll check on that, sir, because there is already a schedule for a preliminary hearing for the two uh, arrested suspects. PI pa lang, wala pang warrant. So there's no information filed yet? To the court, sir, not yet, sir. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. So these are all the nine suspects uh, were already arrested during the operation of the Branch Stark 1 and 2 were charged of violation of the R810591 and R9516. Uh, they were already all committed in, in the different respective jails, sir. As to the incident, uh, updates on the element shooting incident, particularly on the incident that is mentioned by Senator Honteberos, I'd like to give you updates, sir. That out of the 11 shooting incidents we have monitored, four cases were already considered cleared with the filing of cases in the prosecutor's office and the identification of the suspect. First, it's uh, the Barangay Captain of uh, Barangay Buena Vista of Hinolgan City, uh, Barangay Captain Romeo Alipan, who was shot on July 25, 2019 at 1 o'clock a.m. at uh, Lorena Street Poblacion. A mur uh, mur case, murder case with IS number CO that was already filed, sir. The following are the five suspects, sir. And accordingly, these are the reprisals uh, coming from the CTGs. On the Shaton uh, uh, incident, sir, the victim is Federico Sabihon, Aka Buging. Uh, he was jobless. He was shot on July 26, 2019, 7.20 a.m. at the Barangay 3, Shaton Negocional. Uh, a murder case was filed at the prosecutor's office, and the suspects, five and four of them, and one jando was uh, filed, and accordingly, the motive was revenge. Another victim, sir, this is actually the father and son, but let's go to the father first, the Marlon Ocampo, and his son, the Marjon Ocampo, uh, was shot at the Santa Catalina Municipality. And we have also filed a case against the suspect, uh, against Jim Landela de la Cruz and two other jandos at the prosecutor's office. Uh, accordingly, these are reprisals from the communist terrorist group. For Mr. Sambon, Chair. Go ahead, go ahead. Sir, uh, Sir DeBold, uh, this, the son is the one-year-old yes, little boy, no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Mr. Chair. Um, yes. I just wanted to highlight that, bagamat hindi nabanggit, but... Uh, if if the NPA killed a one-year-old boy, sa palagay ko po, this is a grave transgression and a violation of the terms of the CARIL, yes. yung Comprehensive Agreement on Respect for Human Rights and International Humanitarian Law sa peace process. Uh, and we need to hold the NPA accountable for this. Kung ang pinahawak, pinangahawakan nila ay nasa state of war daw tayo, then let us hold them accountable uh, under the rules of uh, IHL. Gusto ko lang yung inote, uh, Mr. Chair, kasi one year old lang po yung bata. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Sir, could I continue? Uh, accordingly, ma'am, we're advised by our Human Rights uh, Committee Office, uh, General Sherbo, to file a separate case in the violation of IHL in a different court in Mandawi, and we have filed the case, sir. Uh, for Wendy Alegre and Pilomino Hanalan, sir, there are two rebel returnees. We have um, 
filed a case for murder, double murder case in the prosecutor's office. Uh, according to the family, they have only identified a certain Oscar Kalihan and three others. And uh, accordingly, this is a personal grudge because of land conflict in their area. Now, these are the other cases under investigations. Uh, let's start with the Yungon Municipality with the uh, ex-Mayor Edsel Inar Dido and uh, his cousin. Uh, accordingly, Mama, we have no person of interest yet, and we are still undergoing investigations. And the motive we are uh, looking for is uh, either uh, robbery or business robbery, because accordingly, the family declared almost a million was uh, being uh, uh, removed from their vault. And uh, we are still looking for additional witness. There was no CCTV inside, and the CCTV was already outside. So we are looking for any other witness, sir. Then we have... Killed ito, yung dalawa? Yes, sir. Killed yung dalawa? Yes, sir. Isang bahay lang po yan sila, sir. Sir, we have other Riden Iluterio, sir, a driver who was shot on July 25, 2019 at 5, uh, 10 p.m. Uh, still under investigation, sir. Accordingly, he are appraised from the CTG because Riden Iluterio is one of the agents of the PNP, sir, who gave us information. So we are following up for additional report on this, sir. Now, uh, we have also the uh, councillor of Canlaon City, Councillor Ramon Halandoni, who was shot on July 27, 2019 at 12.45 a.m. Uh, the case is under investigation. And uh, we have arrested Rico Orcano and, and uh, Lito Caduce. These are person of interest, sir, because accordingly, there was a CCTV being shown na yung mga suspect na kasuot ng mga vests. Uh, nung nahuli po to si Rico Oracoy, sir, at saka si Lito Kadusali during the, during the Band Stark 1 and 2, may mga dalang vest po yun sila, sir. So we are investigating kung sila ba ang possible suspects. So they are just being investigated. Na-identify ba kung member ng NPA yun, yung dalawa? Yes, sir. Ditong dalawa, sir, si Rico Oracoy, sir, at saka si Lito Kadusali, ito yung na-aristo, sir, during the joint APB, PNP operations uh, yung Barn Stark 1 and 2, sir. Uh, kasabay po nito, sir, nung, nung nangyari ito, sir, yung kay, ano, kay Councilor Ramon Halandoni, a few minutes after, uh, pinasok rin yung bahay ni Barangay Chairman Ernesto Posadas, uh, the Chairman of Barangay Panubigan, uh, still under investigations, are we looking on the same person of interest, uh, the Chief of Police who headed the investigations, as uh, no other witnesses uh, and came out, and we are still talking with the family for any other um, personal matters. So, as of now, sir, uh, we believe it's come from the reprisal from the CTG, sir. Now, we have another one from Seattle Municipality. The victim is Ricky Calabaroso Astorias, aka Rockley, uh, a farmer, sir. He was shot on July 25, 2019 at 8 o'clock in the evening at Malo National Highway, Seattle, Negros Occidental. We have identified the suspect, sir. However, we're waiting for the family to, to finally uh, sign the affidavits and the 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 other uh, documents, sir, so that we could file the case in court. According to the family, uh, it's a revenge. There was a grudge between uh, the relative and this one, and we're looking on the land conflict. However, the case was not yet filed by the chief of police, sir. Now, attorney, attorney Trinidad, sir, the lawyer who was shot on July 20th at 1.30 p.m. at Poblacion and in Urgan City, uh, the case is under investigation, sir. We're still uh, coordinating with uh, the family. We have a series of um, motives. This one, sir. Uh, first is we have work related. Second, uh, the, the attorney that went to the chief of police before the incident, sir. Uh, accordingly, uh, they are in confidence that uh, under threat now, sir. So from the sub kabila, kasi nga parang walang tiwala sa kanya. So I uh, we check if it was blattered. It was just uh, relayed on him on a personal basis, sir. So we are checking on the work-related issue because uh, we are checking on ano po yung mga kaso niya. Under threat siya from whom? From the uh, CCP in pay, sir. As uh, the bulls siya doon sa, uh, sa Chief of police. police, sir. Yes, sir. The Chief of Police is here, sir. Andito yung Chief of Police? Yes, sir. Andito? Yung yes, sir. Ikaw yun? Na-out na, na ka na ba? Hindi pa? Sige, umaya. We don't have any progress yet on this investigation, sir. 
And our two thirds, si Arthur Bayawa and uh, Andali Bayawa, the principal and teacher, who was also killed on July 20 of 2019 at uh, 2.45 a.m. in Hinorgan City. The case is under investigation. We have one uh, uh, person of interest, the caretaker of the uh, Lancer, Oscar uh, Notado, because if you will see, sir, uh, Arthur Bayawa and uh, Andali Bayawa and uh, Attorney Trinidad were looking on the, on the case of land conflict. Accordingly, there was report that the brother and sister already won the land conflict and isa po, sir, napapalisin doon yung caretaker nila si Oscar Anotado. However, Oscar Anotado was able to secure uh, papers from the La Bureau of Lands na parang binigyan siya ng 5 hectares. Uh, he, uh, Oscar Anatado, which we are still looking, uh, parang pinili niya yung pinakamagandang lugar. So accordingly, uh, that, too, that too is a very aban uh, kwa na i-recover yung lupa po nila, sir. Kasi marami na pong mga informal settlers and developers po doon, sir. So we're looking on that angle. As of now, sir, uh, nobody came out to give us any testimony and witness and background. We have some uh, uh, results, but uh, still on the process of investigating the case, sir. And that is uh, the 11 cases that are being investigated by the PNP. Mr. Thank Chairman. you, sir. Yes, sir. May I direct my question to the uh, provincial director of Negros Oriental? What is your average monthly crime rate? It seems that in July alone, there are so many incidents. No? And the next question is, what's your crime solution efficiency? July uh, na lang, July na lang. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Your Honor, sir. Uh, first, sir, yung, uh, our average monthly crime rate is, we, we compute this uh, about five, sir, five monthly crime rate. For the month of July, then our crime solution efficiency is mata, sir, mga around 81 percent, sir. 81 percent. And your crime solution? Crime solution, crime solution, sir, is 81. Yes, sir. Pero sa July pa lang, ilang, ilang murder cases na yun? 11? Yes, sir. Uh, and we, how many of the 11 were you able to solve? We have five, four. Uh, four, four cases, sir. So, paano naging 81 percent yun? May mga ibang cases pa, ah, sir. Ah, yung na, robbery? Yes, sir. May mga busy cases kami, sir. Mga, property? Yes, sir. Mababa lang crime solution sa murder sa cases? Sa murder lang talaga, sir. Uh, we admit, sir, na mababa ang aming crime solution, sir. Be before you continue, uh, I, I heard from the news that the PD of Negros Oriental was relieved after the series of killings. Ikaw ba yun o incumbent ka ngayon o former? What? Yes, sir. Uh, I am the former, sir. The incumbent, sir, is uh, Colonel Gaba, sir. So I was the provincial governor, uh, provincial director during the incident, sir. So, kailan, 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 kailan ka na-relieve? I was relieved last July 31, Your Honor. 31. Sino nag-assume? Colonel Gaba, Your Honor. San? Oh, thank you. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So follow up po dun sa uh, slide presentation and then questions sa mga particular na cases ng mga killings. So uh, if media reports are to be believed, it would seem that quite a number of these deaths were perpetrated by the NPA. Dun po sa listahan ng 21 dead, alin po doon yung confirmed na NPA ang gumawa? Mr. Chair, uh, based on our, our investigation, ang apat na case lang po, ma'am, na final namin, ma'am, uh, actually, there are only three because yung, yung iba naman, ma'am, uh, it's not really associated with them except itong, itong kay Kwan, ma'am, kay Barangay Captain Alipan. Uh, the others, ma'am, uh, were looking on their background. Accordingly, uh, some of them, according to witnesses, are associated with the uh, CCP and PA, but uh, we, we don't have any evidence linking them to that group, except for the 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 intel report and the 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 statements of some of our witnesses there, ma'am. So, sir, pasensya na sa kailangan formal tayo yes, dito, pero actually si Sir Dibold, eh, underclass ng late husband ko at ng chair. But uh, again, I appreciate your presence here. So yung tatlong confirm po na NPA yung pumatay, bukod of course sa ating apat na PNP personnel yes, sa Ayungon, si Alipan yes, sa Gihulngan, 
And then, andin pa yung dalawa? Kasi sabi nyo tatlong kaso yung, yung confirmed na NPM yung pumatay. Yung ma'am. O kampo. Yes, at saka po. At saka itong kay kuan ma'am. Kay... Ah, si Marlon o kampo. And yes, Marjun. At saka sino pa po yung isa Marlo, pa? Yung Marlon at saka si Marjun ma'am. At saka ito si ma'am yung si Sabihon dahil... Federico Sabihon. Yes ma'am. And kasama po ba si Ricky Calabroso Asturias at may nasugatan pang 8-year-old girl? Yes ma'am. We have the list. So, sabi hon. Alright, sir. Uh, salamat po doon. Um, so, follow up na rin, Mr. Chair, dun sa mga nabanggit na particular cases of killing sa slide presentation. Yung sa Kanlaon po, yun nga pong kay former city councilor Bobby Halandona at Halandoni at kay Ernesto Posadas. Sa NPA din po ba yun? Actually, ma'am, we could not say in a certain statement na sila po, ma'am. Uh, we have just uh, two persons of interest just uh, dahil sa nung nag-operate kami, ma'am, may nakuha, but it's not absolute na sa NPA po yun, ma'am. Hindi po ba totoo, sir, na yung mga salitang mabuhay ang NPA at saka try door sa NPA, spin ray paint dun sa pader at saka sa, sa fence ng bahay ni Councilor Halandoni. Ito po ni report sa Freeman, Freeman Cebu, nung uh, July 28. So, ba base dun sa mga spin ray paint na yon suspect din nga ba ang NPA sa pagpatay sa kanila? Uh, yes, yes ma'am. However, uh, we have agreed with the, the SITG na to, to give immediately the conclusion ma'am na sa NPA sila but to dig deeper kasi baka mamaya uh, may ibang taong involved at uh, they're just using that one. But sila po talaga ma'am because of that Uh, painting and the modus sila ang number one suspect. However, we don't have the identity yet and we are not, uh, no have uh, any evidence pinpointing to them as the group. Except kat kat yun lang nakikita namin ma'am na mga, mga evidence na na-recover at saka na-picturean po doon ma'am. Thank you Mr. Chair. In the interest of that digging deeper, uh, may video po tayong nakuha sa social media video ng pagpatay kay Councilor Halandoni and with the permission of the chair, I'd like to request that ito po, this video be played. Mr. Chair, tinanong ko po sa staff ko na i-identify yung anong klase mga sasakyan yan. So, uh, it would appear, no, at first glance, mayroong dyang Innova, mayroong High Ace, mayroong pang Ford Explorer. May pick up pa po. So we also note the long firearms of the assailants.
Yung iba po sa kanila mukhang nakasuot pa ng bulletproof vests. So, ibang angulo po ito, Mr. Chair, mula doon sa CCTV sa labas ng bahay. Di po, pinasok bang bahay nito? Yes, sir. That's the... We have the same CCTV, sir. And Kaninong have, CCTV ito? Uh, sa pamilya po, sa pamilya. bahay po. Sa, yes, sir. sa bahay po, sir. Doon mismo sa loob ng bahay pinatay? Yes, sir. Sa loob ng bahay po, sir. Kasi compound po yan, sir. Eh. Itong CCTV, sir, is facing sa labas. Facing sa labas. Yes, sir. Anong daw background ni Councilor Halandone? Um, uh, Maka we... Makakaliwa, makagobyerno, neutral... Uh, could we ask the mayor of uh, Kan Kanlaon, sir? Because uh, ah, mayor, his, his and that this last point, lang, sir, about ah, the video, because ah, at sige, this sige, point, po, iniilawan na yung CCTV camera. Sige, sige, Siguro na na ng tao na may ganon, so iniilawan na niya para hindi na pumakita. Okay na po yung CCTV, uh, Mr. Chair. Kasi nilawan na, useless na. Hindi siguro niya ma maabot yung CCTV kasi kung naabot niya yun, ginano na niya yun. Pataas siguro. Okay, nilawan na lang, <laughs> sir, Mr. Chair. Okay, please, uh, Mayor uh, Cardenas of uh, Canlaon. Kansihal uh, mo siya? Yes, uh, Senator. He is one of In my counselor. Okay, thank you. Please, ano background niya? Uh, during that time, uh, when he was still an opposition to my father, uh, he was a member of the so-called CPRM, in which, uh, during that time, uh, who filed a case uh, against my father, uh, as I have known because I am still uh, young during that time, no? that was a legal front. Then CPRM, CPRM, Canadian ano People's Right Movement. I think uh, Mr. Rizos Canyete knows that uh, organization too well, because he was the investigator during that time. And when we uh, joined together in politics, I cannot remember that uh, he was uh, uh, being uh, contacted by the New People's Army. No? Uh, as I have known him, uh, he was a good person as well, you know, just doing a job as a public servant. So that is how I know uh, Honorable uh, Bobby Halandoni. But as a backgrounder uh, during that time, uh, that is uh, still that I can remember, uh, Mr. Senator. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, okay, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair, at uh, salamat ka ayo kay Mayor Cardenas for the very frank answer sa committee namin at saka yung assurance nyo ng good faith ni the late form Councilor Halandoni. And syempre, yung ina-uphold nating lahat, all of our institutions dito sa kwartong ito, na uh, in a democracy, no one deserves to be uh, yung dahasin, whether... PNP officer of duty or or a counselor ano man ang mga iba't ibang background natin. So Mr. Chair, mabalik lang dun sa follow up din po sa CCTV video sa mga police officers and officials natin dito. Uh, I'm sure may extensive experience kayo sa uh, anti-NPA, anti-insurgency operations. Ganyan po ba mag-operate ang NPA since they are the prime suspect? Ganyan po ba sila pumasok sa ganyang mga sasakyan, ganyang karami, ganyang mga firearms? 
ganyang suot nung iba sa kanila or ang pag-ilaw sa si yung mga lakita lang natin sa video ganyan ba ang pag-operate ng NPA uh, ma'am uh, Mr. Chair yes uh, ma'am we have the same video in fact we are uh, we are getting the video and have it processor um, hindi talaga makuha yung plate numbers sa kakuha niya sir kasi malabo talaga we have already asked our cyber crime to do that and we have also asked an independent ano uh, concert hindi daw talaga sir malabo maski ang, ang resolution daw siya masyadong mababa Ma yes ma'am uh, according if you will see yung yung paggawa nila ma'am ng operations is ganun talaga ma'am yung they are very confident in looking pasok sa loob and sa ngayon ma'am hindi na po sila yung basta-basta lang na mag ano to the, 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 that is one of their mag-show ng force that they have the capability and they don't mind in fact makita mo pumasok sila naglakad sila wala silang pakialam sa environment mami eh. do they have any security ang alam nila hawak ni, parang hawak nila yung lugar kasi tingnan mo kung maglakad bumaba sila ma'am they did not even check sa, sa, sa paligid kung meron bang mga, mga tao or may, bang, may, may mga other uh, armado ba they are very confident na Talagang sa kanila yung lugar, siguro, they have more people there, kaya kung makapag-asta sila, ma'am, uh, they are confident in, uh, in carrying out their ano to. Just also, um, Senator Rontaveros, just to add to that, uh, yung tanong mo kanina kung bakit ganun ba sila talaga, uh, alam, meron din akong mga experience, no, na minsan ang NPA, mas snappy pa mag-uniform kaysa sundalo at saka sa polis. Oh, meron pa silang naka-white side wall, plansado ang uniforme to deceive, to deceive the, the motoring public na sila talaga ay legitimate na puwersa na nagkakandak ng checkpoint. Meron pa nga silang, yung iba, experience ko sa kumbal, nagpatahe pa sila ng uniforme na may chaliko ng NBI. Kaya, Pag sila pumasok sa mga bahay doon, akala ng mga tao, sila talagang organic ng NBI dahil naka best pa ng NBI, okay, best ng CIDG. Uh, ako, based on experience lang. May nag-checkpoint pa doon sa papunta ng diwalwal na napaka-snappy. White side wall talagang buhok. Tapos malinis ang combat boats. Kaya very confident yung mga, mga motorista na huminto Dahil alam nila, sundalo, yun pala, impay na. Uh, may kanya-kanya, diskarte mo yan. Para naman, hindi, hindi. ito pwede rin gawin ng, pwede rin gawin ng sundalo na magpa, dumidumi ang mukha, magsuot na parang NPA para NPA rin ang, ang, uh, ang, kwan, uh, magiging suspect. It's, uh, both ways, pwede rin gawin yan. Kaya, yun lang, sinishare ko lang yung experience ko, ha? Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Chair. Siyempre, ako bilang widow ng PNP, ayaw kong tanggapin na <laughs> mas snappy ang NPA sa PNP at sa AFP. But It's anyway, Chair, sure. noted looking, yung looking like observation nyo. Thank you. Uh, so, at salamat kay uh, Regional Director De Bold na yung pagbanggit nyo nga na pinapa... Uh, pinapaprocess nyo na sa PNP Crime Lab yung video kasi tatanungin ko na nga rin na na-identify na ba yung mga sasakyan yan at kung hindi pa uh, baka, baka Mr. Chair pwede nating uh, baka may paraan na ma-identify uh, nabanggit na rin ni Chair yung NBI so baka yung NBI pwedeng tumulong din na i-enhance i-analyze uh, yung video na yan, I think, di ba, that would be a val valuable piece of intelligence. Tapos, particularly po sa pag-identify ng mga sasakyan, um, just thinking aloud, ano, hindi kaya sinakay yung mga coaching ito sa roro ng sabay-sabay. Sabay-sabay, tumawid, pumasok. Limbawa, sabi natin kung galing Cebu. Then, yung roro, kung, kung yung ganyang ideya ay posible, yung roro company, O kaya yung marina, may kopya sa manifest nila ng mga plaka ng mga sasakyang yan. At sino yung nagmamaneho niyan? Sinubukan bang i-retrieve yung ganyang klaseng information? Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, as of now, wala po ma'am because we have not yet uh, recovered the mga plate numbers po. And uh, kung i mo kasi yan ma'am, mas easier kasi ma-identify later on. 
uh, we believe na kung sila man, baka sa Negros Occidental po ang pinasok sa loob uh, or from there. Because uh, getting vehicles from Cebu, uh, mas mabilis po i-trace ma'am. Kasi ang mga roros po natin ma'am at saka yung port natin, may mga CCTVs na po yon But we will, ano, we will uh, do what you are suggesting ma'am uh, once we get the the numbers and the identifications of the vehicles and we'll compare it sa, during that time po ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Sana nga po yung uh, Negros Oriental PNP can provide this committee yung ganong information, updated information sa uh, susunod pong hearing. Doon naman po sa pagpatay kay Mayor Enar Decido at yung pinsa nila. Ah, follow up. Mr. Chair, with the yes, permission of Chair. Senator Risa, yes, uh, yes, before sir. we leave this uh, issue, may we also hear from the CHR? I assume that you also are investigating this uh, particular case. Pareho bang findings ninyo sa PNP? But uh, before you proceed, uh, let me acknowledge first the, the presence of Attorney Oscar Amador Artillero, Attorney for Legal Officer CHR. Mr. Chair, um, I think the best to answer that question is our Chief Investigator in Negros Oriental. Secretariat, please uh, yeah. administer the oath. Could you please stand the three remaining CHR and Attorney Artillero? <clears throat> please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this investigation? Thank you very much. Please take your seat. Thank you very much, Your Honor, uh, the members of the August Committee. Um, the, on our end, here, there in Dumaguete City, I am the officer in charge of the investigation, uh, the old Negros Oriental covering Negros Oriental and Siquijor provinces. Uh, during these times, uh, we investigated 22 killings. There were 22 because we uh, took the liberty of including those which are actually we are actually happening in the span of one month. So we counted 22 starting uh, the month of June 27 because the first killing there was on this date was the Barangay Tanod of Buena Vista, Giolngan. And the last was on uh, July 28, uh, the last killing which, is, which happened in Panubigan, Canlaon. Uh, the victim was Anansiato Rosalita. Now, though the, the, the victims presented by uh, uh, <clears throat> General Debold, yes, we included the, those also. And I have the names here, the four, uh, Lito Itao of Buena Vista, June 27. On July 18, the four policemen, we were also there in Barangay Mabato, Sitio Yamot. Uh, on July 22 was Barangay Captain Sani Caldera of the Barangay Captain of Mabato. On July 23, the killing of Attorney Trinidad. On July 24, the killing of Weni Aligri and Hanawan in Sambuangita. Uh, on July 25, we have the killing of George Al Barangay Captain George Alipan and the siblings Arthur and Ardali Bayawa and also Raklit Asturias. Then we also have the incident in Santa Catalina uh, involving Marlon Ocampo and Marjun Ocampo, the father and son. On July 27, we had five victims, five killings, uh, Federico Sabihon in Siaton, Barangay Council, uh, Council, uh, City Councilor Ramon Halanduni, Barangay Captain Nestor Posadas, Ex-Mayor Edsel Inardisido, and Leo Inardisido, all in July 27. And, uh, and we also have Riden Iliotirio. And the last was the victim, Anansiato Rosalita. Uh, on the observations... Mr. Chair, just a quick follow-up question. Mr. Chair, napansin ko lang na nabanggit din ni Sir Caniete, si Sani Cal Caldera? Calderon? Caldera po. Caldera. Siya po yung, ano, di ba, dating barangay captain ng Mabato? Yes, ma'am. Uh, bakit, may, ang, ang information ko, nagpagkamatay daw sila, why are you treating his case as a killing? We, we just covered it, ma'am, for uh, thorough investigation on all these killings. 
but we, we didn't say it was murder also. Because we also had our own findings on the murder, uh, the, the suicide of uh, uh, Barangay Captain Caldera. Of course, with the help also of the information given with the police, although there were no documents given, but we also shared uh, verbal information also on these killings. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, may, please, uh, may I recognize uh, Senator Tolentino first? Just for a while. Salamat, Mr. Chair. Tanongin ko na rin si Mr. Jesus Cañete. How long have you been in service sa Negros Oriental? Ganon katagal na po kayo sa human rights? Matagal-tagal na po. Uh, Anong taon I, po? I was the, I, I'm part of the pioneer uh, personnel the, during the start of the CSR, but I was already in government service since 1983. No, sa Negros Oriental, how long have you been Posted, since uh, 2000, since 1995 po. 1995. Up to the present po. <laughs> Mr. Cañete, will you agree with me na itong mga pangyayaring ito, together with other human rights uh, personnel present here, eh hindi lang ngayon taon na ito. Noong 2017, nagkaroon din kayo ng investigasyon. July 21, 2017, halos two years anniversary ng pangyayari pagkapatay ng apat na pulis, nagkaroon ng ambush ng pulis dito sa Gihulgan. Totoo po ba yun? Yes, yes, sir. I was okay. even part of that investigation also. And were you able to complete your investigation? Not really, sir, because uh, at that time, uh, we were already sort of the second responders. The PNP were already there. But we were also able to gather that, in fact, uh, there was the uh, involvement so, of one po, other... Totoo uh, po, Mr. Uh, uh, Cañete, na may mga inambush din na polis sa same city no yes, 2017. Yes, sir. Halos kasing pareho rin ang petsa ng nangyari ngayon. Ju ngayon po ay uh, July, 20, uh, July 18, yes, sir. 2019, noon ay July 21. Hindi ko lang sinasabing very coincidental itong dates, pero ma kung titingnan niyo po yung records niyo, Mr. Cañete, kasi uh, the way it appears now, parang very alarming yung nangyari nitong nakaraang buwan ng July sa Negros Oriental. Ang nangyari po noong July 2017, uh, marami rin pong, marami rin pong uh, uh, napas lang barangay captain sa isang barangay na hinakapan. Totoo po ba yun? Same LGU. Meron po tayong isang survivor naman, uh, nagangalang Luardo Yak, uh, sa poblasyon. Same LGU. Kaya ko po binabanggit ito, uh, Mr. Chair. Siguro po sa sinabi kanina ng human rights, kulang sila sa personnel, Kula, nagre-rely sila sa anecdotal media report. Siguro magandang pag, pagbuo nyo ng, ng uh, investigation report na hindi nyo natapos noong 2017, eh hindi kaya tama na pag, uh, pagsamahin nyo na ito. Baka may connection yung nangyari noong 2017. And I will ask the Philippine National Police later, doon sa nangyari noong 2017, may connection ba ho sa nangyari ngayon 2019? Yes sir, we have taken the note of that those dates because it seems to be anniversary, parang ganun po. So, but we cannot really connect yet. So you will agree with me, Mr. Cañete, na itong nangyari ngayon na lumalabas sa mga media reports, very alarming kasi ang dami, ang daming napas lang, ang daming insidente, sunod-sunod, July 18, July 23, July 24, July 25, July 26, noong 2017, ay ganun din. Ganun din noong 2010. Barangay Health Worker, Barangay Nutrition Scholar, you were there. Kasi sabi nyo, uh, isa kayo sa mga pioneers ng Commission on Human Rights. So, hindi po ba dapat iklaro ng uh, human rights na yung mga ganito nangyari, itong latest, eh hindi naman talagang uh, masasabi natin very, very alarming dahil biglaan. Dahil there has been a history of these incidents in the same locality, in the same province, under your, under your watch again, na hindi na nakagulat sa amin sa Kabite, hindi na, sa Batangas, hindi na nakagitla. Dahil matagal na nangyayari yon. Tama po ba, Mr. Cañete? Yes, sir. So, will you accede to my uh, recommendation that once you piece and conclude your investigation report, eh, pag, pagsamasamahin mo na ito. Yes, that's actually what we're doing right now, sir. Si I have here a summary, but we still have to finish the all complete reports of the all 22 killings and try to relate it back to 2017 during the ambush of the chief of police in Gihulgan uh, in the hinterland also. We're trying to collect these things and uh, 
chiefly and after next And ganun pa rin ba ho yung sinasabi nyo since 2017 hanggang ngayon eh, hindi kayo nakakuha ng report sa police? Uh, it's not that po. Because uh, yung investigation po ng CHR was, it was on my own uh, as the officer in charge. And seeing that the police already made their own complete No, I'm uh, referring to the 2017 incident. Wala pa kayong hanggang ngayong koordinasyon. Babalikan ko mamaya yung 2017. Meron po, meron po. Oh, so meron pala. So mali yung sinabi kanina na hindi nagko-cooperate sa inyo ang kapulisan. It's not right. They are cooperating but in the matter of the giving out of documents, that's the time that uh, they politely tell us that there Kasi is case a... case in progress pa ho yun. nag investiga pa sila. So tama po, yung 2017 incident, meron kayong documents na. I still have, yes, okay. Your Honor. Yung yeah. 2010, meron na kayong documents. Wala po, I cannot, uh, I do not know of those cases that you have just mentioned, sir, because I, those are, Hindi, sab I, I cannot sabi recall. Sabi nyo, sir, kayo, pioneer kayo sa human rights, dapat alam nyo lahat yan. Yes, sir, but uh, with, uh, with, your, with your intelligence, not all killings are handled by the CSR because most of those killings also already were handled by the PNP. But you can act These are considered proprio, common crimes po. You can act more proprio. Yes, of course, we can. We can. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ganyate. Yes, sir. Sa, sa police siguro, Mr. Chair, I, I asked them so yung uh, conclusion ng investigation report noong uh, ambush ng ating kapulisan sa Negros Oriental noong 2017. Uh, uh, RPD siguro. Kayo na yung PD noon, 2017. Sorry, no, na-interrupt uh, ko yung tanghalian mo. Uh, good morning, sir. Good. Ay, or, or, hindi pa po ako yung PD noon kasi I was discreted as previous director last May 2018. So But you have, you have a, you have a have, uh, historical some... knowledge of what transpired yes, uh, prior uh, to your assumption. Natapos yung investigation doon, uh, Colonel? Yes, sir. Uh, we have also here is the chief of police of the Gihulgan and he is more knowledgeable of the incident, Your Honor. Siguro po, Mr. Chair, submit na lang sa committee yung yes, report. Uh, no? Please salamat, submit salamat. To, to this committee, ha? Yung result ng uh, investigation na yan. Mr. Uh, Chair? Uh, go back. Uh, yes, uh, please. Um, I was just going to continue, Mr. Chair, yung following up yung mga cases na pinresent ni, ni R.D. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. So, sa killing naman po ni, ito follow up lang kanina, nung uh, totoo bang uh, isang oras bago naka-arrive sa scene of the crime ang PNP, uh, dun sa bahay ni na former Mayor N.R.D. Sido at yung pinsa nila. News report po ito sa Manila Times eh, so I'm seeking confirmation despite the fact daw na one kilometer away lang daw ang bahay ng former mayor uh, sa police station. So tama po ba yan or mali? Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, ma'am if you will uh, give us, could I ask first the chief of police ma'am? Because uh, honestly we were not able to read on that report ma'am for a while ma'am. Thank you uh, Mr. Chair. I'll move on. Uh, dun sa killing of attorney Anthony Trinidad. So, gusto ko pong tanungin kung how is the investigation coming along at ano po yung working theory dito sa pagpatay kay attorney uh, Trinidad. May report po kasi sa media ulit na land dispute nga. May report din na it was done by an alleged anti-communist group called Causa Gihilunganon Bato Komunista o Kagubak. So, may any leads ba tayo? Ineimbestigahan ba itong kagubak na ito? And mayroon na po bang na-arestong miyembro ng kagubak, Mr. Chair? Sino makapagsagot niyan? Sino? About the killing of attorney Trinidad. Uh, ma'am, uh, sorry, we, we don't have investigated that group, ma'am. Uh, we have not investigated that group, ma'am, for that one. Uh, we'll check and uh, follow it after this month. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Doon po sa pag-check at follow-up, uh, this, this uh, yung next na ipapakita kong photo should be of interest po. Uh, mayroong so-called hit list na nagsusirculate uh, attributed dito sa Kagubak group na to, and it appears to target alleged NPA sympathizers. Uh, so, with the permission of the Chair, may I ask kung nakita na po ba ng PNP officials natin itong listahang ito? Uh, Kausa Gihulganon, Batok Komunista, Kagubak, Never Again to CPP, NPA, NDF. And then may listahan sila. Dalawang listahan, hindi, hindi ko lang mabasa. Sino, sino pwede magbasa niyan? Uh, ang mga, 
ano yan? Ang mga... Oo. Uh, and you will note, Mr. Chair, na yung pangalan ni Attorney Trinidad is number 14, Anthony Trinidad. Pero aside from his name, yung list, first list na 15 names, so may 14 pa. Uh, probably and hopefully still alive, unlike Attorney Trinidad. Tapos may pangalawang listahan pa, 10 names naman. Uh, Na-investigate na po ba yung authenticity ng listahang ito? Kasi it would seem po talaga na, Mr. Chair, and this is, I think, of urgent concern, yung ganitong listahan dapat talagang seryosohin. Kasi yung isa sa listahang yon si number 14 Anthro Anthony Trinidad, ay patay na. Mr. Chair, uh, ma'am, I'd like to answer first yung question niyo kung isang oras po, ma'am. Uh, according to the Chief of Police, ma'am, hindi po totoo. Late lang kasi nila, ma'am, natanggap yung report. Uh, the, na, yung, after the incident, natanggap nila ng mga 2 o'clock ng gabi po, ma'am. So after natanggap nila lang report, saka po sila nag-respond, ma'am. Uh, the, 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 the report came in late po, ma'am. So when the report came in late at 2 a.m., anong oras po naka-responde at nakarating sa bahay ni dating Mayor N.R. Decido, ang PNP? Based on the account of the Chief of Police, ma'am, uh, more, more or less less than five minutes, ma'am, kasi malapit lang po yun, ma'am, at wala pong traffic. Tama po, at definitely walang traffic siguro yes, sa ganung oras, kahit dito sa Maynila, yes, kahit siguro sa Metro Cebu, uh, and so yes, probably also sa, sa Negros. And yun na nga po, one kilometer away lang po yung, yung bahay ni former mayor. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. So, dito po sa listahan ng kagubak na nandun yung pangalan ni Anthony Trinidad, ano po yung uh, updates nyo rito? Ma'am, um, we have received this report last year and we have discussed and we have investigated this one. Uh, in fact, the mayor of Hinolgan City is here because we conducted a dialogue with this, ma'am. We conducted a dialogue, we are kind of open there sa lahat na concern in the city of Hinulgan. And it was found out na this one, um, we concluded this one na parang political in nature. Because this came out just before the election period po, sir. So this was, uh, came out and nag-dialogue po kami ng lahat ng mga concerns, lahat ng mga kuhan, uh, kasama po namin si Mayor doon at sinagot po lahat yung concern. As to that time, ma'am, wala po talagang, kasi parang itong mga papel, iniwan lang. Okay, iniwan uh, lang sa public places. Nandiyan po si Mayor, sir. Since Mr. Chair, si Mayor, yes, Mr. Chair, just one last follow-up question okay, kay Sir Debold, bago kay Honorable Mayor. Pero pati po si Anthony Trinidad, may political reason, electoral, na targetin siya at patayin? Uh, uh, yes, but actually during that time, ma'am, hindi po namin uh, kilala si, hindi namin na uh, si uh, uh, Tony Trinidad, ma'am, because marami po mga listahan ng mga kagayan nito nilabas during that time. That's why, uh, mayroon pa nga isang listahan to, ma'am, ang tawag Antikom. So Antikom then uh, we co consolidated this one and we talked to our counterpart and our chief police investigated it. And all the, yung nasa listahan, pinag tatawag po ma'am regarding their security that's why it was agreed with the mayor to come up with one dialogue to all concern uh, para makuha po and I just forgot what date was that but that was last year a month or more than a month after this uh, so-called list came out ma'am uh, I think uh, and I think there was already agreement during that time na this one was uh, maybe we concluded ma'am sorry maybe we were wrong we concluded na it's more on a personal matters and on election related po, ma'am. But thank you, Mr. Chair, na sinabi nyo na uh, nagsimula kayo ng dialogue for the security of these people because gusto ko talaga, Mr. Chair, maghiling at uh, ma-recommend ng komite natin sa PNP to protect the rest of the people on the hit list, the rest of the 14 na kagrupo ni Anthony Trinidad at yung sampu pa. Kasi ano man ang katotohanan, buong katotohanan sa list na ito ng kagubak, may isang patay na. May isang patay na. And kung sabi nyo nga na ininvestiga nyo ang kagubak last year, uh, bakit hindi ininvestiga sila in connection sa pagpatay kay Anthony Trinidad bilang baka may motive sila? Kasi kinalat pala nila yung listahan. 
Ma'am, first we do not know who are these people yet, ma'am. And uh, we, will, we will check on that uh, aspect, ma'am. As the last year pa kasi, ma'am, no one was identified kung kinsa, sino po itong kaguba, ma'am. Salamat kayo, uh, Mr. Chair. Just to reiterate yung urgent request ko bilang miyembro ng komite ng chair, led by the chair, na protektahan ng PNP itong 14 pa sa first list at yung 10 pa sa second list kasi patay na si number 14, si Anthony Trinidad. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Be sure yes, sir. that this uh, remaining 14 ay mananatiling buhay. Yeah. Uh, Ah, isang nang chipopulis ang kiyulgan. Siguruhin mo hindi mamamatay yan ha, yung 14 na yan. Ha? Pag ha? Ang marami nang namatay? Ilan ang namatay diyan? Mag out ka muna. Chip. Mag out ka muna. Opo ka muna sa Mag take out ka muna. Before you answer, maga out kamo na. Administer mo na yung out mo. Harap kamo na dito, chip. Harap kamo na. Sige. Please raise your right hand, sir. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this investigation, sir? Thank you, sir. May take your seat. Sinong sinabi mong maraming mong patay dito sa 15? Paki-identify nga. Si Ona is attorney Trinidad, sir. And then si number 12, si Roberto Gaday. Si Ma'am Heidi Malalay Flores, Ma'am. Flores? Yes, sir. Ah, Flores, number 11. Yes, sir. Sige pa, sino pa? Yung number 15, sir. Litong anak. Yes, sir. Ni Nia Nga Esparo. Yes, sir. Baw litong og anak. Nia Nga Esparo. So, yes, ibig sabihin, dalawa yan. Si Boy Litong og anak Nia Nga Esparo. Yes, Boy Litong and his son, who is a Sparrow member. Yes, sir. So, patay niya si Litong. Yes, sir. So, you mean to say, lima out of 15? Yes, sir. And so, notorious na pala itong kagubak na ito. Ano, kilala mo ito? Yung kagubak na ito? Sa totoo, sir, uh, inalungkat na namin to, na-receive ko to 2018, amount of January or February. Uh, itong labing lima, marami ang nagpunta ka sa station dito, sir. Isa na rito, sir, si Atty. Trinidad, Ma'am Villarmente, Jessica Villarmente, Si Jessica Villarmente ay kapatid po ni Attorney Trinidad. Si Carlos Villarmente, uh, asawa po ni Ma'am Jessica Villarmente. Ito naman, yes sir, si Attorney pumunta rin. Si, yung namatay na si Heidi Malalay Flores, pumunta rin po sir. Si Allen Alvarez, pumunta rin sir. Si Doktora Sasilian, halos sunod-sunod yan sila nung lumabas itong papel, sir, na pumunta sa police station. Una, Anong sinabi nila nung pumunta uh, sila? Halos magkapariho yung ano nila, sir, salita na hindi sila uh, supporter sa NPA. And then nagpablatter sila, considering na natakot sila na mamatay sila. And then... They wanted to clear their names that they are not supporters of NPA. And then, itong si Atty. Trinidad, sir, so, ito yung huli ko nang nakausap, 
na uh, humingi siya ng security sa akin po, sir. And then, sabi ko sa kanya na idadaan po natin sa process sa tournay. Uh, bigyan mo ko ng request mo, papaabot ko sa PD namin, ipaparward natin. Kasi kung bibigyan ko to lahat ng request nyo, maubos yung police namin dito sa Gilman. Ang dali, so, Chief, ganito. You, you mean to say, buhay pa ito mga tao na ito, pumunta sa'yo, nag-clear ng name nila, at humingi ng depensa o security para hindi sila mamatay, ngayon namatay na sila, hindi ka ba na konsensya nito? Hindi mo man lang sila nabigyan. You, you were not able to, put, to protect them. O kaya, the least that you could do is, ma'am, mukhang, sir, mukhang very imminent yung threat sa buhay nyo. Hindi, dapat inadvisor mo na ito na maglaylo mo na kayo. Punta kayo na ibang lugar. Hindi, yes, sir. Anong, anong sinabi mo sa kanila? Itong si Ma'am Heidi Flores, sir. Namatay, namatay ito, sir. Wala na po ako sa Giyulungan. Baling pangalawang balik ko na po to as chief of police ng Giyulungan City, sir. So, namatay ito si Ma'am Heidi Flores. Uh, si si Sir Trinidad, ako na po yung ano, sir. Pero itong 1, 2, 3, 4, palagi po yung inaano ko siya kinakausap. So, ito si Atty. Trinidad, lalo na, sir. Pag nandyan siya sa Gilungan City, may kaso siyang inaano, defense. May usapan po kami, sir. I will provide him security, PNP, hanggang makaalis siya ng Gilungan City, sir. Ba balikan kita mamaya. Yes, Dito mo ko kay Mayor. Mayor. Mr. Chair. Yeah, please. Si Mayor mo na kasabi ko. Yes, Mr. Chair. Ab Arin, bal balik kita. Yes, Balikan Mr. Chair. Uh, Mayor. Hindi ka alarma dito, Mayor, yung listahan na ito, nangamatay na itong mga tao na ito. Anong ginawa nyo doon sa munisipyo ninyo? Yung dito sa baba, sir, yung, yung namatay na dyan, yung sinarding nokos, uh, former ano yan eh, yung Forest Guard, tapos naging Capgo. Tapos, uh, uminto na siya sa Capgo, ilang taon, uh, pinatay siya, saka niyano naman ng NPA. Na eh, ito yun, hindi klaro man yan. Yung nasa taas, eh, yung, eh, pin, ano yung 15, ah. sandali ha, yung 15 na yan, inaakusahan niya ng kagubak, which is uh, mukhang anti-NPA na grupo na ito mga tao na ito, mga supporter ng NPA, yung 15 na yan. Yung sa baba naman, na sampo, sabi ng grupo na kagubak, parang kagrupo rin nila ito dahil ito'y mga tinatakot ng NPA, binigyan na ng desisyon, hinusgahan na ng PNP na basihan o oh, gipamatay na. O oh, ibig sabihin, patay na pala ito lahat, ito sampo. Kini ang mga innocenting civilian nga human na gihukman sa ilang hinanib nga grupo sa NPA nga walay igong basihan o gipamatay nila. Meaning sa Tagalog, ito ang mga inosenteng sibilyan na tapos ng hinusgahan ng grupo ng NPA na walang basihan at pinag pinagpapatay na nila itong sampok. Uh, Freddy Trinidad, Anis De La Torre, basta ito sampo na ito. So meaning, yung sa taas, under threat ng kagubak dahil na suporta ng NPA. Yung sa ilalim naman, sinait ng kagubak na itong sampo na ito, pinatay na ito ng NPA. Patay na yan, yung sampo na yan. So, na na nakarating ba sa iyo itong lista na ito? Sa ano namin, sir, sa meeting namin sa POC, pinaano ito ng sa PNP. Uh, sinabi doon sa meeting namin na ito yung kagubat, ito ang mga listahan na doon. Yun ang mga listahan nila, saka yung lahat yan, sir, 
Ano ano nabanggit namin sa POC meeting. Sa ano yun sa Sir, Air Police. Sir, yung lugar mo gihulgan is although it's a city, but I consider that is maliit na siyudad, di ba? So more or less kilala mo lahat ng mga tao mo diyan. At itong grupo na ito, kausa ginhulang ginghol nganon bato komunista. Cause, uh, cause of cause of ginghol nganon against communism. Kay bala, alam mo ba kung sino itong mga tao na ito? Hindi namin alam sir kung ano yung mga kagubak member sir. Well, ako, I, I hate to, I hate to accept this, pero, alam mo, yung police... Yung ano sir, pag-meeting namin sa POC, tinanong namin kung sino yan, mga taong yan. Alam mo, ako ha, yung polis nga mismo, ako mismo pumunta dyan sa Gihulungan, if you can remember, ewan ko kung nandun ka, kami ni Presidente, after nung inambus yung isang patrol car, pumunta ako doon, nag-helicopter kami, CPNP pa ako, And I know that yung isang uh, deputy chief of police mo doon, mm -hmm. pinatay harapan ng, is ng istasyon. Mm -hmm. Ganon. Kung ganon ka-defenseless yung, yung PNP doon na patayin sa harap ng istasyon, paano nga sila maka-defensa sa mga constituents nila? So ito, ito nakikita ko, dapat ito eh, dapat hindi lang ito problema ng PNP. Hindi lang problema ng EP ito. Dapat ikaw mismo as local chief executive, awhagon ni mo ba? Yung mga tao, awhagon. Yung sabihin niyan, you encourage the people na magka magkaisa kayo doon para lalakas yung, yung village uh, defense para hindi na ito makapasok sila. Kasi kung PNP lang, kung kan mo, anong strength mo doon? Anong strength mong PNP mo doon? Istasyon. Um, so now, sir, dumami na siya 72. Lala. 72? Yes, sir. So kaya na niyong lumaban, hindi na kayo basta-basta patayin na lang sa harapan ng istasyon ninyo? Yes, sir. M mga long pairam sa kayo doon? Yes, sir. Oh, well, sige, go ahead. Uh, doon sa amin, sir, yung tulong ko sa sa police, lahat ginawa ko. Binigyan ko na silang baril, yung impor, binigyan, binigyan ko ng bes, yung bulletproof, saka yung Uh, yung helmet, yung bulletproof na helmet, Kibler. saka yung bala, yung mga magasin, saka yung mga binigyan ko pa rin sila na allowance, saka vehicles, mga motorcycle, saka mayroon pa silang bibili pa ako ng speedboat, alam ni Chief of Police yan, uh, patrol boat, saka yung sasakyan, uh, four wheels, Lahat ginawa ko, sir. Sa kahit may ano pa, may, may ano pa ko ng bigas, kahit sa Philippine Army, lahat ginawa ko na, na bilang mihor ng Giyulngan. Sa kasa mga tao, sir, maganda rin programa ko doon. Lahat ginawa ko rin. Nagbigay ako ng house and lot sa mga tao. Uh, Pre-education. Yung scholarship ko, yung kailangan kong grade is 75 lang. Scholar ka na. Any school, any course, private man o government. Tapos sa uh, health, libre gamot, libre hospital. Mayroon akong programa na nag ako ng pera doon sa hospital sa Bacolod kasi uh, provincial hospital yung sa amin. Uh, district district hospital lang wala kaming espesyalista yun na nag-ano ko na pera sa sa hospital para yung mga tao na kasakit matulungan ko kung kailangan na ma espesyalista matulungan ko sila sa ibig sa ito i will cut so, you short ha sila uh, we have ibig taken note sir sa social services wala akong kulang uh, we have taken note of all your efforts na matugunan ito mga problema na ito, matulungan yung mga constituents mo. Pero ganito kasi yan. Alam mo, itong grupo like Kaguba, ito'y nag-uusbungan because of failure of government to protect them, the people themselves. Alam mo, ako, galing ako sa Dabao, 
alam ko lumakas yung alsamasa doon dahil nakita ng mga taong bayan na hindi na kaya ng gobyerno na dipinsahan yung sarili nila. So, they take it upon themselves to protect themselves. Kaya ito nagusbungan ng kagubak. Pero itong kagubak na ito, parang kung talagang, kung sila man ang nasa likod ng pagpatay nitong mga alleged supporters ng NPA, nagiging vigilante na ito. Alam mo, kung ikaw ang mayor sa isang lugar, to discourage vigilantism, dapat ikaw na nag-initiate na grupuhin mo yung mga tao. Na, alam mo, may mga tao ito. Kilala mo yung iba siguro dito na gustong-gusto na lumaban sa NPA. Kung ikaw sana nag-initiate, kinontrol mo ito, mawala ang vigilantism at mabantayan ninyo na mag-abuso itong mga grupo na ganito to take the law into their hands. Ako mayor, ay, hindi ako naging mayor. Pero marami akong nakita ang mayor in my 33 years of service bilang polis doon sa Mindanao. Marami akong mayor na nakita ang ganun na sila mismo nag-organize. Ang ganda ng uh, development, hindi naging abusado, hindi nagkukumit ng human rights yung mga tao dahil kontrolado sila ng LGO. Pero kung ito'y pabayaan mo, wala kang pakialam, maging vigilante ito, talagang papatay. At tinan mo, marami nang napatay. Mr. Chair. Ako, ako lang ito. Sa akin, insights ko lang ito. Hindi namin alam, ito. sir, kung sino ang mga vigilante sa lugar namin. Hindi namin talaga alam. Alam ko. Kung alam mo pa, di, hindi sa lang nangyari. Sa tingin ko lang, sir, na ano, dahil ano, yung lugar namin is 33 barangays, then uh, yung population namin is 105,000. Ah, nakita ko, sir, dahil kaunti lang yung pulis sa lugar namin. Yun na nga, mayroong uh, POC meeting sa region doon sa Cebu. Nag-ano ako na sana dagdagan ng pulis sa lugar namin. Dagdagan ng pulis kasi kung ang ratio is 1 to 500, 105, dapat 210 ang pulis sa amin. Eh, yung pulis sa amin is 55 lang. Arde, uh, paano sila makaserve ng maayos na okay. kaunti lang yung pulis sa lugar namin? Sige, Mayor, andito si Arde ngayon. I am... Sana, hindi na ba talaga tumamatay ito kung dagdagan mo ng pulis doon? Siguro you take this uh, one emerge as an emergency situation. Dagdagan mo para hindi na mas... Hindi na, hindi na masisisi ang gobyerno pag mayroon pang mamatay dyan. You have done your best already. Sige nga. Uh, Mr. Chair, yes sir, actually from the uh, strength of 50, sir, uh, umabot na po yan ng mga 70 plus. Yes sir. Yeah, 70 plus, one platoon po ng mobile force. In fact, sir, isa po sa mga idea na the, the uh, city, poli, ano, city peace and order na pinropose namin is the creation of a uh, um, precinct doon sir sa site talaga sir na saan critical we have established one sir uh, police prison sir doon sa barangay Trinidad ito yung uh, infiltrated talaga sir at nilagyan po namin ng police doon sir na 25 plus 30 55 doon sa lugar na yun, sir so aside from the regular 55 sir na uh, 76 na police meron pa pong isang platoon sir ng mobile force sa kanila po sir naka detail I, I hope hindi na maragdagan nung mamamatay dyan, ha? Yes, sir. Act, this one list, sir, came out before we instituted the plan, sir. Uh, because this one happens before we, uh, we I arrive as the regional director, okay. dyan, sir. And we have addressed it accordingly. Nakalimutan lang sabihin ni Mayor na nag-dialogue po talaga kami. And he was there also during that dialogue, sir, on this incident. Kasi nga, there was a report na may listahan at may namatay na on how to do this. So we made a, a dialogue with them openly, sir, kung ano talaga may tulong ng polis. Okay, Mr. Chair. Senator Riza, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Pakibalik lang po yung listahan uh, kasi gusto ko lang ibalik, itayin yung mga puntos natin dun sa listahan. Ako po kasi, Mr. Chair, bilang miyembro ng komite, uh, naniniwala ako na yung, yung susi talaga para ma-resolve natin yung mga conflicts ay isang bahagi yung sinasabi ni na Mayor kanina, yung mga, at ni Gov, yung mga sustainable development programs na ginagawa ng ating mga LGU in partnership sa national government. On the other side, 
tingin ko walang lugar talaga yung mga ganitong grupo tulad ng kagubak at lahat ng mga vigilante groups. Uh, kahit pa yung ansamasa noon. Tingin ko ang susi talaga on the other side ng sustainable development ay yung talagang reformed and modern na mga institusyon natin, including yung PNP at saka yung AFP. And so, pag kaharap ng PNP natin, yung ganitong mga listahan, uh, yung kaninang sinabing, Diyos ko, sa 15 na yan, hindi lang pas pala isa lang ang pinatay na si Anthony Trinidad. After lahat sila ay lumapit para i-clear yung pangalan, humingi ng uh, protection, lima na pala ang napatay, sabi ni Chief of Police. One-third na ng listahan. Uh, <laughs> This confirms, Mr. Chair, one-third na nasa listahan ay patay na. This confirms na totoo yung hit list na to ng kagubak. At para hindi imbestigahan ito pa rin, would be an outrage. Seryosohin po natin hindi lamang yung listahan, pero yung kagubak. Kasi meron na silang bloody track record sa gihulngan. Hindi po talaga katanggap-tanggap, Mr. Chair, na ilalagay lang yung pangalan mo sa isang piraso ng papel, tapos papatayin ka na. So, this really demands, Mr. Chair, na seryosohing investigahan yung hit list ng kagubak at yung kagubak mismo in connection with yung limang pinatay na sa listahan na iyan at proteksyonan talaga yung sampupang nasa uh, listahang iyan, Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, I am with you in that desire. Dapat malaman natin kung sino itong kagubak na ito Sino yung mga tao na member dito? At kung sila talaga ang pumatay nitong lima na sila mismo gumawa ng hit list, dapat mapapanagot natin itong mga tao na ito. Otherwise, walang katapusang patayan nito. Re-risback na naman yung kabila. Pagkatapos, risback naman kabila. Tingnan mo. Kaya itong kagubak na ito, gumawa ng hit list at napatay na yung lima dahil itong sampo ng mga inusinte na pinatay ng NPA, yan ang rason. Resource ba ka na ito? Wala na katapusan. So, dapat government should take the reins when it comes to maintenance of peace and order sa lugar na yan. Dapat, uh, Mayor, as I have said, alam mo, I just would like to react. No, no offense to uh, Senator uh, Risa, yung mag-react lang ko tungkol doon sa Alsamasa. Uh, ako, buong Dabao, ay nagpapasalamat ng creation ng alsamasa dahil kung walang alsamasa ang dabaw ngayon ay killing fields pa rin o baka NPA na ang naghari-hari sa siyudad ng dabaw with alsamasa na encourage lahat ng tao na tumapang, lumaban again sa NPA kaya look what dabaw has become today dahil sa alsamasa A ako lang I, I, I didn't see that they are all saints may mga alsamasa rin na later on nagiging kriminal later but the initial result that it has given to Dabao City as far as peace and order ay talaga ako mismo ako mismo witness ako niyan since single lieutenant pa ako pero yun nga lang dapat mahawakan nga ng, ng uh, mga government leaders para hindi mag-abuso hindi magkukumit uh, ng human rights abuses Mr. Chair, follow up question dun sa, uh, well actually yung buong listahan ng mga killings na napag-usapan na ng komite so far. Sa mga killings pong ito na uh, pinresent ni uh, R.D. Debold at saka nilista din ni uh, Special Investigator Kanyete, meron ba sa mga killings na ito na involved ang ating kapulisan bilang perpetrator ayon sa investigasyon ng PNP? Mr. Chair, uh, I will answer it. I could assure you, ma'am, there's no no PNP was involved on that uh, killing. In fact, ma'am, kung nap, na, nakita niyo yung timing po ng operations namin to track the suspect uh, nung July 25, lahat po, ma'am, na nahuli po namin, ma'am, the nine of them, o, o, hindi po namatay, ma'am. In fact, maski sa may encounter, pinili talagang mabuhay, ma'am. Uh, we, we are not uh, involved of any of this uh, killing na inimbestigahan po na ma'am. That I could assure you, ma'am, and uh, I could uh, tell you honestly po. Mr. Chair, at this point, dagdag po dun sa healing ko at sana ng uh, 
buong komite sa PNP na protektahan yung sampu na lang pala na buhay pa sa listahang iyon, siguro mag uh, uh, healing din po ako sa sa ating mista at ni at ni General Maymay uh, na bago sila mag-retire kay Chief PNP o di Albayalde na maibalik ang public safety sa Negros Oriental at sa buong Negros Island at mabigyan ng hustisya lahat ng biktima PNP man na biniktima at mga sibilyan pati itong mga nilagay sa listahan at lima na ay ay pinatay niya so pinatay na So, yun po yung uh, gusto kong i-place on record na uh, appeal uh, kay Chief PNP. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, uh, for the record also, I would like to make this known to everyone that this committee demands from the PRO7 na dapat itong sampo na living, uh, living uh, persons na nasa hit list na yan, I-account ninyo yan pag uwi ninyo sa inyo at siguruhin nyo na buhay pa rin yan. Ha? Dapat gawin nyo yan. Well, Governor Digamo, please. Yeah, for the record of this August body, ma'am, uh, sir, uh, as Governor, I will uh, assure you and I will coordinate with the Mayor, with uh, the, our Regional Director, that this remaining, we will try our best to protect this uh, remaining uh, personalities na wala pa namatay. So, That is on re uh, for the records of this August body. And, and also, Salamat. Governor, please, uh, please help the PNP. Yeah. Alam ko naman na may intelligence ka rin sarili doon sa, sa Negros Oriental. Dapat malaman din kung sino itong kagubak na ito. Para hindi na lalaki. Hindi na lalaki dapat. I will Mananagot my... ito kung sila talagang pumatay. Yes po. Kahit na supported ng NPA yan, yes, hindi natin papayagan na ganun na lang gagawin. Yes, sir. What if mali yung listahan yan? O kahit na totoong supporter ng NP, they don't, don't deserve to die. Hindi dapat mapatayin yan. Kung meron silang nagawang kasalanan, paharapin natin sa, sa hostesya. Hindi dapat ganun na gagawin. After all, Mr. Yes, yes, yung After suggestion mo, sir, yung suggestion mo kanina, ha, gagawin ko yung, saka yung kagubak, sir, hindi namin alam kung tagagyulungan ba yan o hindi tagagyulungan. Hindi talaga namin alam. Kasi kung tagagihulungan, hebalaan na nimo. Siguro kung tagagihulungan ba, hebalaan nimo kaysa nang matawag na. Di ba? Sa Talaga hindi namin alam sir. Okay, so, na nandiyan naman ang chief of police namin. We have to find out. Magtutulungan kayo. Mr. Chair, in so fairness naman doon kay Mayor, back eh, sir. If I may. Uh, in fairness naman dito kay Mayor. Uh, baka ginagamit lang yung gihulungan noon eh. Baka, baka they are from the other side of the island or from other places. So, hindi niya kilala. But uh, as governor, I will now uh, coordinate. I will coordinate with the mayor and uh, uh, the regional director, or Mr. De Bul uh, uh, General De Bulcinas, that this kagubak, if possible, must be dismantled. Please, uh, th uh, this committee uh, is so grateful for uh, your promise, uh, Governor uh, Digamo. Sana wala na mamatay dyan. And uh, Senator Risa, pwede natin i-recognize muna si, si Mr. Cagnete. Kaya meron daw siyang isang listahan din. Separate from this. Ibang listahan? Meron ka, Mr. Cagnete? Yes, Your Honor. I do not Why? know if uh, we have the same names that are found there because we were also able to get this list. Actually, we were able to get this from the Alipan case. And the Ali members of the family of the Alipans uh, refused to, to reveal to us their source. In fact, they don't want to give us a copy of this, so we just took photo of this through our cell phones. And uh, in this list, there are 11 barangays. Coming from 11 barangays, we have 37 names here. Only one is, uh, is dead. Uh, that's the Barangay Captain Alipan. I do not know with the rest of the names. I still have to coordinate with the local police in Gihulgan if they are still living. So, may, may source ba yan? Sinong source yan? Kagubak din? Hindi po. Hindi po nakapangalan Kagubak. Uh, nakapangalan po dito Vigilante Negros slash Anticom. And uh, part of the one group here are members of the Nasida. I'm sure uh, the Honorable Mayor also knows what this Nasida is. The, they are also being warned in this list. 
Can you submit a copy to, yes, to the committee, please? Kahit na ipa puto copy mo na lang. Mr. Chair. Yes, go ahead. Dahil nga kasasalita nung taga CHR, gusto ko rin sana mag-appeal at makapag-direct ang, oh, hindi pala direct kasi CHR to, pero mag-appeal sa CHR na mag-shift po ng resources, pati human resources, sa Negros Island para pigilin itong tuloy-tuloy na patayan, itong, uh, uh, itong seeming impunity, no? Dahil kung lalo na kung tama yung teorya ni Chair na may may gantihan na nangyayari dito no kapag may isang side na namatayan uh, gagantihan ng isa't isa talagang cycle of violence ito and and impunity na sana ang CHR uh, kasabay nung appeal ko kanina sa PNP ang CHR din makapag-mobilize ng uh, greater resources and na return Mr. Chair din sa tanong ni Senping kanina na yung history dito sa Negros Island maalala din po natin si the late Uh, Bishop, um, uh, yung sa, sa, yung sinabi, nasisin, pre-senior moment ako, sinabi niya Negros Island parang social volcano. Hindi lang yung vulkan na Mount Canlaon pero social. Bishop Fortich, sinabi nila uh, decades ago, panahon pa ng martial law na, uh, So, yun yung appeal ko, Mr. Chair, sa CHR. Mag-mobilize ng additional resources para mapigilan itong itong patayang ito. After all, Mr. Chair, I also just want to make it of record, yung mga kagubak na yan, dapat talaga, ano eh, hindi pinapayagang kumilos, hindi pinapayagang gumawa ng listahan, hindi pinapayagang pumatay ng mga tao sa listahan, even besmirching their reputation, yung yung good faith halimbawa ni Attorney Trinidad para sabihin, oh, itong labing limang ito, support na ng NP and therefore, dapat patayin sa lipunan natin, gusto natin na ang solong magsisiguro ng national defense at ng public safety ay yung AFP at yung PNP. Hindi yung mga kung sino-sino mga kagubak na yan na gagawa ng ganyang klaseng karahasan under very murky circumstances. Dahil hindi na... And how can it be na ang ating local government officials hindi kilala yung kagubak? How can it be na yung PNP natin sa area hindi kilala ang kagubak? Nasa area natin yun eh. I, I suppose tagagihulgan kasi they use the name. Even if not, dapat kilala at mapipigilan sila sa karahasan nila, Mr. Chair. Senator Riza, sa yung listahan na yun, ikaw bang naka, sa iyo yun nagagaling? Kanino nagagaling yan? Sa media po, sa media. Negros Island. Yes po, sa Negros media Oriental. Negros. And freely daw kinakalat yung mga leaflet na yan, yung kagubak na yan, yung kanilang deadly na listahan. Thank you, thank you. Now, uh, sabit mo na yung listahan mo? Ah, Amin na po ito kami pa. Yes, sir. Yung suggestion ni, or appeal ni Senator Risa Ontiveros, uh, Sino bang taga-region dito? National Office ng Human Rights. Ikaw, ta-national. Parating mo kay chairman na this committee, committee is uh, requesting for additional uh, CHR personnel na tutulong kay Mr. Cañete para naman mabos-bosan yung patayan no? kaya ma-stop na talaga totally. Kung makita kasi nila na aktibong CHR, magdalawang isip rin yung mga gago doon na gagawa ng ganun. Ha? Pakita nyo na may may asim kayo doon. Para mata magkuan din sila. Mag uh, Kasi isipin mo, libreng libre sila magpalabas ng hit list na ganun. Ano na mas sino sila para magawa ng ganun at papatayin pa. So dapat uh, dagdagan niyo ang tao. So sino pa bang ating uh, resource person na yung bago yung relative yung survivor mo na sa mga relative ah okay 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 please uh, one of the survivors lone survivor ka ba mm -hmm. police chief inspector uh, Humphrey Tevez survivor ka sa ano sa ano ano incidente sa manhoyod sir sa pre market uh, gusto nilang kunin yung baril ko Sige, ako, please, uh, you have the floor. Pakinggan natin. Uh, ako po ay magandang uh, hapon 
sa inyong lahat. Ako po ay si Police Chief Master Sergeant Humphrey Teves, uh, nakatalaga noon sa Manhoyan Police Station. Uh, noong, noong, noong March 7, uh, around 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, tinawagan ko yung kuan, yung confidential asset ko na makita kami doon sa kuan sa ano sa my flea market sir kasi marami na kung marami na kasi kaming naririnig na yung mga NPA nagre-recruit daw sila ng mga minors at saka nangungulikta ng mga taxi sa mga bahay-bahay doon sa bundok anong munisipyo yan ah uh, Manhuyod sir Manhuyod Manhuyod kaya nung pumunta, pumunta ko doon uh, mga around 9 19, about 19 a.m. Uh, tapos namin nag-usap ng ano, asset ko. Uh, bumalik ako sa motorsiklo. Nang, pagsaka, na, nung sumakayan ako sa motorsiklo, sir, uh, nakita ko yung dalawang mga 20, uh, around 20s nga mga ano, civilian. Uh, dalawa sa harapan ko at sa right side ko, meron ding dalawa. Paglingon ko paglingon ko dito sa kanan sir nakita ko yung isa bumunot bumunot at saka tinutukan ako ng baril Pagkakita ko doon sabay ginanon ko yung tricycle ko sa <coughs> sa kanan ko tapos sumuong ko ako sa may barbed wire na fence Pagkatapos tumakbo ko pinuputok uh, tapos ung tumakbo pinuputokan lang ako Tapos, nag, nag-dive ako, sabay nag-roll, nang, ano, nang nakatayo, pagtayo ko, sabay bunot ng baril ko, at pinutukan ko sila. Natamaan ko yung isa sa dibdib, at yung isa naman sa may balikat, at yung dalawa, hindi ko natamaan, pero nagtago sila dun sa, ano, sa <coughs> uh, mga tao, kasi, Doon sila nakapwisto sa nagtitinda ng mga one, sir. Doon sa play market, sir. Pagkat, patay? Patay yung dalawa? Patay yung isa, sir. Yung isa? Uh, buhay yung isa, pero may tama dito. Yung... Dinala mo sa hospital? Hindi, sir. Umalis ako, sir, kasi... May tama ka rin? Wala. Pero pagkaalam ko, sir, pag silang tumira, sir, meron talaga silang backup. Magkakandak talaga silang ng ambush. Kaya naisip ko, marami sila. Kaya tumakbo na lang ako, nag-withdraw ako doon sa may, ano, sa, uh, sa may tubuhan. Doon ako nagtago, nagantayin lang ako sa dalawa na pumunta. Lumalakad ka mag-isa? Sir? Ikaw yung lakad mo na, mag-isa ka lang? Yes, sir. Malisyo Pag- sila niyan, dapat may backup ka. Kasama mo, Kaya at least dalawa kayo. Bakit nalakad ka, magsulo-sulo ka? Ano ka, Intel Operative? Noon, sir, noon. Nung panahon na yun? Hindi pa, sir. Uh, Pinan supply na ako noon, sir. Okay. So, you wait. Pagkatapos noon, sir, nagtago sa, may, sa may tubuhan, uh, yung, <coughs> yung dalawa, gusto pang sumunod sa akin. Pagkatapos, nang kita siguro nila na may sugat na yung dalawa niyang kasama, bumalik sila, sir. Tapos, nag-withdraw. Kaya, nag, naghanap ako ng signal sa cellphone ko, wala namang kita. Ah, wala, hindi, hindi naman anong gumagana yung uh, cellphone. Doon ako pumunta sa akin. Bumalik ako sa... Naghanap ako ng signal, sir. Tapos, tinawagan ko yung police station. Uh, Nagkuha naman sila. Nag-respond din naman agad. Kasama yung mga army at saka 7 uh, uh, yung sa, sa Palanas. Nag-respond din naman sila agad. Pero hindi ko sila pinapunta agad kasi mayroong ambos area doon sa, uh, sa lugar na yon Pinintay ko muna ng mag, 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 mauna muna yung sibilya na mag, kuan, mag tumingin sa area kung may, may, may talaga bang nag-aabang. Na, na-identify ba yung patay na esparo? Ay, yes, sir. Taga saan? Taga Sitio Dauhan, Barangay Buena Vista, na uh, Himamailan, sir. Negros Occidental. Sa kabila? Sa kabila, sir. Yung isa na wounded, na-identify din? Hindi, sir. Pero, pero nakita ko siya doon sa through the 
Provincial Intelligence Branch sa Rugalire, sir. Nakita ko yung isa sa sugatan, sir. May, Dito ko nakita. May, may, yung kasama ng tatlo, sir. Dito ko, doon ko na-identify. Kaya napaila, napaila, nagka-file kami ng case laban sa kanila, sir. For att uh, attempted murder. Sige. Ano pa? Meron ka pang... After that? Uh, yun na, sir. Tapos na yun. Nakapayal lang kami ng case. Sino si pupulis mo? Uh, that time, sir, si pulis... Uh, Andito siya? Andito? Hindi, Wala. sir. Wala. Yung incumbent na chief of police mo, wala dito? Wala dito, sir. Sige. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you, sir. Mr. Chair. Yeah. Go ahead. Before yung isang huling follow-up question sa CHR, uh, I'm glad, sir, Teves, na nakalaban kayo at uh, nabuhay kayo. Um, sa CHR, sir, uh, I mean, Mr. Chair, yung follow-up question ko sana, kasi kanina natanong ko kung ano yung mga naging epekto ng Oplan Sauron sa mga komunidad sa Negros Oriental. So, yung isang huling follow-up question ko doon, sayang wala. Ah, nandito na rin pala, pala ulit yung uh, uh, AFP Human Rights. Pero since this is about uh, PNP Oplan, sa CHR ko na lang itanong, naging successful ba ito sa pagsupres or at least pagbawas sa lawless violence saka sa acts of terror. Kasi yun yung original na uh, intention ng Memorandum uh, Order 32. At saka ng, uh, yan ang original na intention ng Oplan Sauron sa ilalim ng Memo Order 32. So ito ba ay nagawa yung kanyang uh, objective laban sa kriminalidad saka laban sa uh, terror? Uh, actually, is um, in the Sauron cases, uh, yung yung kasi may mga namamatay din doon those times. Uh, those cases were investigated by our uh, regional personnel, regional investigators, and uh, may I respectfully refer you to our director. Who was. Well, Madam Chair, um, I, Mr. Chair, and um, um, Madam Senator. Um, I suppose um, this operation uh, Sauron added more uh, issues to the uh, already um, arising issues of human rights violations because we all know that there were likewise death committed uh, uh, death in the operations of the police, in which um, the CHR is likewise uh, conducting an investigation to, to ascertain that um, the police operational procedure manual were faithfully complied by the police because, as we all know, it has been uh, long explained by the Supreme Court that killing is a crime in this uh, civilized country. And regardless of who commits the killing, there should be an accountability. And pursuant to the decisions of the Supreme Court, that whoever um, invokes self-defense, he must prove that during trial. So in short, this must be investigated likewise. On the theory that uh, even if the police admitted the killings, on the proposition of putting up self-defense, but according to the Supreme Court, these defenses are affirmative defenses, which can be proven during trial. And just like alibi, these defenses are uh, weak defenses, on the basis that it is, it is easy to allege, but difficult on the part of the victims to disprove because of the principle of regularity in the performance of official functions. So I, 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 I've talked to General Sinas, my counterpart, about the policy of the commission explaining to, to him that even if it is alleged that the 
killing was a result of a legitimate operation, I explained to him that we still have to investigate, to clarify, to get the totality of the, of the picture. Because the people want to know whether the police, uh, there was abuse on the process because it doesn't always follow that um, if the operation is legitimate, all the processes are legitimate. There might be lapses, there might be abuses on the process. And General Sinas uh, is uh, taking advantage man, of that uh, uh, observation and said, Sisha, I want you to know, to be fair in the conduct of investigation. And I want my, I know, I want my personnel, my officers to be investigated, but just be fair. So that's my observation, uh, Madam Senator. And speaking of fair, Mr. Chair, uh, fair enough. Um, appreciate ko yung content nung sinabi nyo sa, sa komite namin in the same light na nung brief opening remarks ko kanina na pinayagan ni Chair, ay inaffirm ko nga yung universality of human rights at saka yung na duty bearer. Uh, first of all, yung Estado bilang tayo yung uh, superior force kahit pa sa situations of internal armed conflict and also yung mga non-state actors. Kaya uh, dito sa mga kaso ng killings na cleared na or yung iba pa, mas marami na under investigation pa, uh, wherever the investigation may lead, whether NPA ang responsible dyan, whether PNP ang responsible dyan, whether other armed groups on the ground ang responsible dyan, whether ganyang mga kagubak, Mr. Chair, ay lahat dapat uh, managot. And very uh, essential uh, stakeholders dyan, both yung PNP, yung CHR, and, and the others, around, of course, our LGUs as well. Lahat po around the table. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, along with that, si Kwan, Internal Affairs Service, may ginawa ba kayong motor propio investigation? Yung mga operations na yun? Kasi may patay, di ba? Anong ginawa nyo? Uh, uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, uh, Madam Senator. Actually, the IA sa take of Nissan's of all the cases on Sauron na uh, uh, application of the search warrant. Uh, we already conducted investigation and uh, conducted a summary hearing on, on that uh, respective cases. And we already uh, submitted our result of investigation to our uh, disciplinary authority. Thank that you. All, sir. Ano, ano, anong kan mo? Anong findings niyo? Well, we have our recommendations. Sir. Recommendation? Uh, we, we, we gave it to the uh, our uh, disciplinary authority. To the CPNP. Uh, this disciplinary authority for the regional uh, internal affairs seven is regional, our, ka ba? Uh, no, sir. I'm from the national, but national. I'm representing the, the the internal affairs service, sir. Uh, the one to cognizance of the uh, the cases, sir, are the regional seven. internal affairs seven, sir. Mr. Uh, Chair, yes, posible sir. bang makahingi ang komite ng kopya nung at findings and recommendations ng IAS uh, about the operations under Oplan Sauron? Yes, by all means. Huh? I so move, Please, Mr. Uh, Chair. Us, uh, uh, I'll take note copy. of that, sir, and I'll uh, comply with the uh, request of uh, Madam Senator. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. We still have uh, itong mga invited natin na mga resource persons. Ilan nito? Ms. Judita Calyao, Wendelin Calyao, Rimile Beronio, Lebrano Beronio, uh, Mr. Uh, Elsid Sibagat. Can we hear from you briefly, kunti lang kung anong ma-share niyo sa amin para to give justice to your uh, trip from layo na binyahin ninyo. Pupunta kayo dito daw sa hindi, wala kayo marinig. Pakinggan namin kayo pero Bobo lang ha, bobo lang na to. Ha? Let's make it short para ma-accommodate ma ma natin lahat. We'll start with uh, si Konsihal uh, Salimbangat. Please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, salamat, uh, magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Una-una, uh, magpasalamat ako kay Senator Risa Montivero sa Resolusyon niya na ibistigan yung uh, killings namin doon sa Negros Oriental. At saka kay Chairman uh, Bato de la Rosa. At sa lahat ng uh, PNP sa CHR, kasama ni General uh, Sinas, yung governor na namin sa Negros Oriental, at saka yung dalawang mayor namin sa 
Tanlaon at saka Giholngan. Ako po ay uh, representative lang po ni Mayor namin ng Negro Oriental ni Mayor Erwin Agustino. Uh, ito po lang chairman, uh, masasabi ko lang. Kasi first time namin nangyari doon sa aming bayan eh. Kaya napapasalamat ako na kami po binigyan kami ng uh, counting panahon dito sa Senate at sa resolution ni Senator uh, Risa Montiveros na marinig yung mga hinain namin sa mga kasamahan ko sa Negros Oriental para yung uh, insurgency namin uh, mabawasan at masusulbad, ma maresulba. Kaya yun lang po ang uh, masasabi ko ngayon kasi yung kanina na sinasabi ng uh, PNP, yung ibang mga nangyari ay eh, under, under investigation pa. So, yung sa Yungon, baka matulungan kami ng PNP na managdagan kami ng uh, PNP personnel at saka yung EEP para maresolba yung uh, insurgency namin doon sa aming bayan. Maraming salamat po. Totoo po yan. Talagang kinakailangan talaga nila doon. Kasi, alam mo, yung mga tao doon, hindi yan tatapang kung walang presensya ng government forces. Matagal yan silang gigil na eh. Pero hindi sila makapag-voice uh, out dahil takot din sila for themselves, for their own safety. So kung nandun kayo, nandun ang polis, nandun ang military, tatapang at tatapang yung mga tao doon. At hopefully, this will end all the killings pag uh, marami ng tropa doon. Please, go ahead. Uh, sir, ma'am, could I suggest, I have been suggesting this already when we were asked. Maybe, maybe sir, we could, uh, you could give us a quota of 2,000 for Negros Oriental alone so that we could get yung mga tao rin doon sa Negros Oriental who wants to defend their own place. Para naka-focus doon, sir. Para ma madagdagan. Sir, limited po talaga ang police. And there are so many... The, the, ng Central Visayas kasi, sir, ang daming cities. Ang daming concern. So maybe if we could recruit solely for Negros Oriental, I, I propose it, sir, nung nagtanong ang Malacanian ng 2,000 for Negros Oriental again and assign it there to the different station and mobile force. Maybe it will help solve the problem, sir. Partial, even partially. No, don't worry. I will uh, exhaust all my available powers as chairman of uh, public order and dangerous drugs. Na, ano, anong, how do we term it? It coerce ang PNP na dagdagan yung uh, kuta ninyo. Yes, sir. But I will do all my powers. Ang sabihan ko yung PNP, dagdagan nyo ang kota ng PRO7, particularly Negros Oriental, para ma-address ang problema ng insurgency sa lugar na yan. Mr. Yes, Chair. You can count on me. I will, I will do that. Thank you. Mr. Chair, siguro dalawang uh, initial thoughts dun sa recommendation ni uh, R.D. De Bold. Una, regarding quality versus quantity. Opo. And then pangalawa, regarding yung overarching framework uh, na pag-assess pag, uh, at review ng Memorandum Order 32 at yung Oplan Sauron. So, quality versus quantity, uh, I think the PNP would know best internally as an institution kung ilan yung deploy deployment na kailangan nyo per area uh, in faithfulness sa spirit ng PNP law at saka lahat ng mga internal uh, uh, mechanisms nyo. Pero ako, I have always, an, as long as ma-reach yung sinasabi rin kanina ni Mayor na uh, quote, uh, proportion ng P, uh, police uh, officer vis-a-vis -vis population, I think it's not just a matter na dagdagan yung bilang eh. Pero really, uh, suportahan yung organisasyon at yung bawat police station, yung mga personnel to be the best police officers possible, including yung mga reforms na kailangan, including yung disciplinary action na kailangan dun sa mga possible lapses or abuses na sinabi ni uh, Sir Kanina from CHR uh, Region 7. So, uh, that's one. Pangalawa po, uh, dahil nga yung, yung layo nung resolution ko heard by the chair today ay i-assess yung effect ng uh, Memorandum Order 32 at mimismong yung Oplan Sauron. So, siguro, inunote nga po, gaya ni sinabi ni Chair, inunote ng komite yung recommendation uh, ng RD, uh, but maybe it would be part of the 
the whole body of, of findings and recommendations uh, itong, itong particular point. So, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Consilor. Mayroon akong i-dagdag po, sir. Sige. Yung, yung uh, initial uh, talk namin ni Mayor Erwin at saka yung ni Lieutenant Paganura ng AAP, uh, sa palagay namin, sir, uh, kasi yung AAP at saka PNP, hindi naman mag-stay longer ng aming lugar. So, nag-initiate kami na pwede kami makatraining ng kaa para yung uh, yung strength ng uh, PNP at saka yung EP madagdagan. So kung, kung wala nang wala nang uh, PNP sa amin at saka EP may na ano may natira na ka na well, That's perfectly legal. Wala tayong problema diyan. Gawin niyo 'yan through your uh, resolution ng Pisanor Municipal Pisanor Council request niyo sa EP then the EP will do the Kaya nga sir, nga, uh, ngayong 29 sir ng uh, July, oh no, oh, ng July, oh no, ng this month, may meeting kami sa POC sa aming municipality. Thank you. Thank you, po. Thank, you. thank you for that. Uh, well, well, we'll just go to Mr. Uh, Lebrando Beruño. Okay, mayaw nga po sa tangan. Sorry nga, hindi ko ka uh, makasalita ng Tagalog kasi... Ngayon lang ako nakapunta ng Maynila. Pasalamat so, ka kay uh, Senator Risa Huntiveros at naibitahan ka. Yes. First time mo. Okay, okay. First time nga uh, ako naka-add to the Risa Senate. So, kaya nakakita ko, uh, maka, naandom na ko, makikita ko kay Senator Bato, kay uh, Senator Risa. So, pwede, pwede ka maghingi kang Senator Risa mamaya ng baon pa uwi sa... <laughs> siya ng bala. Okay. <laughs> Please go ahead, go ahead. Yo, uh, pag-imbita sa mo, uh, pagtawag sa mo dito sa Negros, sa uh, Mabinay, nga uh, imbitaon may pato diri para sa public hearing. So, la, may nagdumili na ito yung may diri. Tungodog alang sa among anak nga bata pa lang kayo na wala sa mo. Ah. So, <laughs> Apil, apil ba siya, no? Atong yes, four, eh, yung four uh, na operative ng RNG? Yes, upat siya ang team leader sa ano, kanang upat kay junior man niya ang tulo. Siya ang corporal Bironio. Siya ang senior sa tulo. So, ang ako lang nga, uh, di madawat, okay lang ko siguro kung sa encounter nga away dili ingon na nga gitorture nila ang among tawo so pagabot na kog bindoy nga nagabot mi dito sa mong akong anak nakita jud nako nga dabok na ang yang baba ug yang apapangig gitorture siya maayo so muni di na ko madawat init ko kayo karon sinitoro sa akong kinabuhi so gikuwaan ko og usa kanak sa tulo na ko usa akong lalaki tapos Siyang paglaom sa kuwa kay may sakit ko, gikan ko sa hospital. Siya ang gatag sa ako o mintinan. So wala na. Muna nga, sa gihimo sa tao nga walay kasing-kasing, dito na akong madawat. No, anong sakit mo nung? Yung sakit ko, nagbato ang akong uh, abdo, tapos sapitan na akong atay, tapos may ano ako, may... Uh, colon cancer. Da, da, 2017 so, ako na hospital, tapos hasta karoon na pa ko yung maintenance. So, wala na ako man. Da, daan ka sa opisina ko mamaya, ha? para matulungan yung medical assistance mo. Okay, okay. Uh, so, daan ka mamaya. Muna nga, ang among pato rin nga, maka-istorya mi, so kita gamin niyo panahon. Kikinang lang na mo ang ustisya sa mga anak tungod kay nakita na mo ang mga anak na pinakabuutan. So, sa mo lang, ma'am nga, hasta karun o para mo nakita o nakuha ang mga tao nga naghimo niya na. Kaya mismo ilang silpon nga doha kabuk. Kaging ilang nga isi yung armas, wapang may nirecover sa itong mga PNP 
o sa mga sundalo. So, wa po kay balokon nakuha na ba pro kining nangakuha ron or nadakpan na nila so oh, dili pa gid ni ingon nga kung kay wala pa may mga gamit sa upat ka mga PNP nga na cover sa atong mga PNP sad. So muna nga karon nasta karon sinitor. Di na mo madawat ang hitabo. Sakit kayo para na ko. Mga ni na nga pag adto ni uh, presidente Duterte sa uh, aganan. Mingon ko niya, kung kaya ako mahimo, pwede ba nga mabalik ko or mutraining ako sundalo para Tong, ganito ha uh, This committee would like to express our heartfelt uh, condolences and deepest sympathy sa inyong uh, anak na nawala Ako sakit po kayo sa akong uh, kasing-kasing na kay pariyo mo taamahan Pero, may appeal to you, please, kung gaano ka ngayon ka kagalit sa kalaban natin, huwag na huwag kang sumanib dyan sa kaguba ka. Yes, yung yeah. grupo na yun, please, Ay, hindi please, na do, not, do not, para matapos natin ito. Oh. Idaan natin lahat sa legal, kahit na gaano kasama ang loob mo. Last, idaan natin lahat sa legal. Okay, last, Mr. Uh, Chairman, sa naghaya pang akong bata, mismo ang cellphone sa kong bata mo pa'y nagtawag sa kuwa. Iya pa kung giyo na nga pangutana kung din gihaya nga kong bata. So gusto siya makikita sa ako. So ako siyang gihagit nga makikita ko. Silang tanan, ugmay mo, gusto ko makikita. So wala, hasta karun wala silang nakikita sa kuwa. So munang ako na siyang gihatag sa Ilibinaib kag sa tropa sa kong bata sa uh, B, uh, sana, uh, ano na ilaha? BMPA7 uh, uh, sana yung Arimjo so si uh, ang ilang CEO si uh, si Abilanoy ba so naghanyo jud ko sila nga unta na mi support sa muas dahil eh, mabinay dahil ah, dahil eh, mabinay tungod kay sa karon amo jud nakita mo gani nga nag so wala pa mi gimbitar pato diri ma'am so may plano na mi nga musibat sa me tungod kay gibura gina monitor ko nila ginamonitor mi nila. So, ang support na mo nito ang ilibin ay biog ang tropa sa akong bata. Kaya nakita na mo nga na sila karon sa patag. Unya, umburag na sila guroy uh, plano para sa among kinabuhi mo na nga. Mingon ko kung nila kung uh, ato bangon so musukol di ko. No, pero kung ilang buhaton nga, okay lang makikistorya. Ang ako lagi yung hanyo nila nila nga musurinder yung tas sila tanan sa sapakan sa gobyerno. So ako pong hanyo nila karoon sa ato ang nga magita din hero na abot mag nga matagaan yung justisya nga mong mga bata. Tungkol sa kasakit nga gikuha nila nga wala sila batasan. Unta ni surrender naman, wala naman unta ni sokol. Unta, himon unta nila prepot sa ato ah sa gobyerno or sa mga PNP nga pag surrender mo once up na tagaan day na nila og higayon nga ang tao mabuhi pero ang ila pura wala justisya mo nang nakayong ko sinitor nga ang kumusta man ang ato mga PNP na ba human rights og himon lagi nga na muna ako na kong pungutana sa inyo nga kita na atay atong ipatupad ang kitawag nga human rights sa tuwa hindi na to sila pamatyon so malas imong gisulti ganina pero kun sila ay makadakop sa atong mga PNP or sa mga army ang pangutana na ba human rights sa ila manay pinakapait nga sa atong mga awtoridad nga yano lang nilang patyon mo surrender na ila pang patyon so nakita na ko ang upat pag abot nagog bindoy kay ako pang gi usa na abot didto ang duha nga ginapos katong minyo si Kabilon o si Dilyon so Luoy kayo ang atong mga PNP. Pero kung kini mo'y may tabo, kanunay nga din nato ni masolban nga problema. Mora na. Sila no, in a way, <clears throat> what do you expect from this group which is espousing a godless uh, ideology? Wala ka talaga. You, you, you can't expect something na maayo. Wala. Wala na gato. Ginoo mga tawahan eh. Wala. Klaro dyan nga wala ginoo. Why ginoo? So, sumala sa report na mo, Senator, nabot sa kuha nga ni Hanyo, ba kong bata, sa dilipan ninyo, kung patsyon nga, makaampo, ba dyan ko si Gino, muluhod sa ako. So, muna ay, usa nga, sakit para na mo, nga, 
misaludo na nila ang mga PNP, ila pa yung itiwasan. So, kalamacho na, ila pa yung gipusil, una pa nila gipusil, gidabok isa nilang mga lawas. So, na pinakasakit kayo, Senator Paranamo. Anyway, nakapahil naman ang kaso ang PNP uh, Piero 7. Di ba? May kaso na kayo file. Uh, we hope and pray that justice uh, will be attained para sa iyong mga, sa iyong anak ninyo. Si Ma'am Remili Berunyo, ikaw ang mother, mag-asawa mo. Musulti pa ka? Mrs. Ben, ang bota kong kaya ba niya? Sige lang, di lang itong pugsyon. Okay lang kung wala kayo kasulti. Okay lang. Okay, di lang niya kaya. Sal sir. Salamat, salamat. Uh, let's go to Miss Judita Kalyaw. Ma'am, kung sa'yo mo kayo kasulti. Uh, may nga po, Senator, labi na ni Ma'am Risa Ontiveros. <coughs> Nalipay kay kog dako nga naimbitahan mi sa Senado. Kadali lang mama, ah. Ma'am Judith Kalyaw. Uh, makapagtagalog ka kasi yung media nagko-cover ah, na hirapan. Ah, uh, alam ko naman magtagalog si. Ah, pait si Tagalog. <coughs> Tuo sila di kakabulong Tagalog. Tinagalog dia. Ano? Sige, salamat. Uh, Please. Dagdag to lang ito sa sinabi ni Mr. Berenio kasi is, magkasama sila, yun lang ang maano ko na bigyan ng ano si siya ang kamat pagkamatay ng anak namin kasi yung anak namin, hindi ko pinalaki na ano, mabait yung anak ko. Nakatapos siya ng pag-aaral, limang tao ako nagmasoka ng kasambahay dito sa Maynila. Kaya nga, ang sakit-sakit sa ano, ang sakit sa kalooban namin na ganyan ang ginawa ng mga MP sa kanila. <clears throat> Kaya nga, ang hiling ko, bigyan ng ano, hostesya ang pagkamatay nila, hindi lang kalimutan, baka ngayon Aktibo pa, tapos kalimutan nila, hindi na ano. Yan ang sinabi namin kung may human rights ang mga civilian. Sana may human rights din ang mga PNP na pinatay nila. Yun lang ang masasabi ko. Kahit ano, masama ang pakiramdam ko, pumunta ako dito sa ano, Maynila. Kahit iba ang ano ko, masama ang pakiramdam ko. Basta maka, makita ko lang si Senator Bato kasi idol yan ng anak ko na si Rapi. Uh, thank you po. Salamat, uh, uh, Ma'am Judith Kalyaw. Si Miss Wendelin Kalyaw. Kapatid ka? Kapatid? Okay. So, <coughs> meron pa bang gusto magsalita? Before we suspend the hearing? Meron pa sa inyo? I will give the floor. Uh, Mr. Chairman, may gamay lang kong uh, idugang Sige. sa wala pa namatay akong bata na ingon siya sa kuwang uh, nagpulis ta, nagpulis siya tungod nakita niya ang isa ka chief nga pulis nga pinakabutan niya active wala sa iba kundi ikaw. So magina yung istorya sa kuwa. Kahilak mo buta na nang way. <laughs> Kahilak mo ta. So, pinaka-idol ko yung kakain niya. Muna nga, mingon siya ko ni mo, Senator, nga pag-eleksyon, number one, isang nga mingon sa kuha pa, ibutang yun sa number one, bahala kin sa paidong na basta na may one ni mo sa Echip Bato. Salamat, salamat. So, malangit na wa yung kaluluwa ng uh, yung anak. Salamat sa kanya, sakripisyo for this country. Thank you. So, Sikip na yung dibdib ko. Uh, maybe, ito lang muna, kukunin ko muna sa PNP before we suspend. Can you, categor uh, can you categorically deny na nagsusuporta kayo dito sa anong, ano, anong, anong grupo niyan? Kaboka. Kasi alam ko, yung mga ibang grupo ngayon sa kabila naman, hiniisip nila, suportado ito ng, ng gobyerno. Masasabi mo ba na talagang wala kayong kinalaman dito sa grupo na ito? Itong vigilante group na ito na kabok? Ha? Ha? Kagubak. Wala. In any way, in any manner. Sabihin mo nga, para... Mr. Chair, ito. I could assure you 100% sir that we are not supporting. In fact, we do not know who are this group 
and uh, of their existence. Mao Ganin yang uh, we, we, we investigated this one, and I assure you, no PNP personnel uh, was monitored to be involved. Kung meron man po, sir, I'll assure the body that we'll investigate them, sir, and present them. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Governor Digamo. Yeah, on my end, as Governor, <coughs> I would like to thank the committee headed by you, sir, because the, in one way or the other, uh, this will uh, help sustain the peace that we are enjoying right now. Governor Sandali, ha? 11 incidents, di ba? Yung pang-11, kailan yung last nangyari? Uh, 27? Nang? August? July 27. So from July 27 until now, hindi na naragdagan ng pang-12. So I hope, uh, Governor, and uh, RD and PD, na sana hanggang 11 lang tayo. Sana hindi na maragdagan. Magtulong-tulungan kayo. Hindi kailangan magsarili-sariling effort. Tulungan kayo pati mga mayor na hindi na madagdagan. Kung hindi na ito madagdagan, well, the whole Filipino nation will be very happy and glad kung magawa nyo yan, kung kakayanin nyo yan. Si, ah, si Gobernur Mar And I would like to thank also uh, General Abayaldi for that immediate action during those uh, times nga we're in trouble. Talagang nag-intervene si, ano, si General uh, uh, Abayaldi. And I also, I would like to thank the, the interventions also of uh, the higher-ups like the DND, the SILG. And uh, for your information, Mr. Chair, uh, we have already organized the LCAC, yung uh, ending local communist armed conflict. Uh, spearheaded by our president, President Duterte, and we are the first province na nag-organize dyan. And I would, I would like to assure you that we will religiously and, uh, uh, you know, uh, implement that uh, LCAC so that uh, ma matutupad na yung uh, ano namin na uh, we cannot win peace by bullets or by armed struggle. We can only p win peace by winning the hearts of the masses and the people. Thank you very much. Thank you, Governor uh, Digamo. Si Mayor uh, Cardenas is uh, recognized. Uh, yes, first of all, I would like to thank for for this committee on public uh, order and, uh, and safety uh, for this call of a meeting. And I do believe that this will lead down into a resolution, of course, by uh, Senator Reza Hontiveros. Thank you so much, ma'am. And I just would like to appeal with this humble representation that uh, the resolution will include to the to a symposium for a debriefing for all those uh, affected barangays because the people were being traumatized. I think by the virtue of this resolution, it will be addressed to the department heads, probably from the SWD, that will be conducting symposium in every barangay so that the traumatized uh, barangay or traumatized individual will also be a, a debrief. So. With this humble rep representation, Senator Reza Huntibiros, uh, I just hope that this will be included, ma'am. Thank you so much. Well, Hello, Mayor. And Mayor. Sir, and during Chair, this, well, very well taken. Oh, po. Oh, thank, you. thank you, thank you. Uh, during these trying times, dyan labas yung kagalingan ng leadership ninyo, pagka-mayor nyo sa inyong lungsod, o pagka-gobernor sa inyong probinsya. Makikita ng mga tao yan, eh. Maramdaman nila yan, yung mga discarte nga pang buhato ninyo para para masulbad ang problema. Yes, diba? Si Mayor, uh, si Ries. Uh, sir, yung request ko kanina, sana na madagdagan kami ng police kasi yung police namin is 55, tapos kalahati lang yung mag-duty kasi every 24 hours kapalit naman yung kalahati. Sana madagdagan kasi ang laki ng population namin. We have 33 barangays tapos 105,000 ang tao. Well taken yan, Mayor. Uh, Sana, Sir, uh, hindi matagalan. Sana, kasi ilang taon na ako nag-request niyan doon pa sa Cebu. Nag-request ako sa Cebu during the meeting of uh, POC sa Region 7. Dalawang taon na ako nag-request. Sana, sige, 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 Mayor. Oh, Jelsinas, ano, maaksyon na ba yung... Kasi sa tingin ko, Sir, kung 
yung barangay mayroong police, kung mayroong mga masamang tao, hindi na yan totoo yung magkawa ng masama kasi mayroong police dyan eh. Oh. Yeah, Mayor, alam mo yan. Uh, ko. Sa, kasi, alam nyo, sa buong Region 7, ang pinaka-hotspot ngayon, itong Negros Oriental. At uh, particularly itong Gingholma, Sir, Gingholngan. Isolated lang po. Hindi po ang Negros Oriental. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hindi, hindi po, hindi po. <laughs> Uh, bo, I, yes, sir. Sa loob ng Negros Oriental, uh, baka mamaya sabihin nila uh, hindi maganda pa sa Norka. Kasarap pumunta ng Duwagete. Kasi pumunta ng mga bais. Ang ganda, They are uh, minted as the best retirement area. Yeah, Negros Oriental. Sir, ito so, lang ngayon, particular na uh, ko lang. Particular na uh, itong uh, ginhulgan. Buhusan mo ng resources doon para naman masabi ng mga tao doon na talagang Government is working. Government is uh, uh, taking care of them. Parang maramdaman nila. Oh, eh, mayor na mismo ang nag-humingi. Eh, you can pull out some of your troops from other uh, municipalities. Buhusan mo doon. Hindi buong province ng Oriental. Okay? Magre-react si Governor Digamo. Yung ko lang, yung mga munisipyo lang na treaten. Oh, nagpasalig yeah. na nung. Yes, sir. Nagpasalig thank na. You, sir. Thank you, ah. Senator. Thank you, thank you. So, wala na yung Risa, sir. Si, si Senator Risa pa. Salamat, Chair. Uh, last two points na lang po. Una, uh, dagan salamat kay uh, Chief of Police Texon uh, dun sa information na binigay niya sa komite na lumapit itong mga tao sa listahan ng kagubak na yan para i-clear yung pangalan nila at humingi ng proteksyon sa PNP. I think, Chair, that was a life-saving information for the 10 na nasa listahan pa na uh, buhay pa. And uh, pangalawa, uh, bago uh, i-adjourn ng chair ang hearing na ito, uh, paalala lang yung hinihingi pang mga dagdag na impormasyon ng komite, lalo na in relation sa uh, Roro, kung ni Roro nga yung mga sasakyan ng mga uh, assailants kay uh, attorney 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 Trinidad, no? I'm sorry, kay, yung assailants kay uh, Councilor Halandoni, uh, pati any information from the Marina at saka po yung NBI na uh, uh, posibleng hingan sana ng PNP Crime Lab ng tulong yung NBI para i-enhance at saka i-analyze yung CCTV video footage na yon. Dagan salamat, Chair. Okay, thank you. Uh, so lahat ng documentation na ni-require by this committee, ay dapat isubmit ninyo. So, again, I appeal Sir, to... Mr. Chair, sorry, I forgot. Opa. Pati po yung IAS uh, findings and recommendations na binanggit po kanina. Salamat, Chair. Yes, okay. I appeal to each and every one of you, ha? Na sana, yung nasa hit list ng kagubak na living pa ngayon, minus five na napatay na, yung sampo, sana naman, Magtulong-tulungan kayo na hindi na madagdagan pa ng isa. Ha? Kayo lahat. PNP, AAP, LGU. Sana makonsensya kayo. Lumabas na yan eh. Dumingi ng tulong. Makonsensya kayo kung may mamatay pa dyan. Dapat hanapan nyo na paraan talaga na maprotektahan natin yan. Otherwise, kawawa yung tao. So yun lang yun. Ang uh, tayo and uh, i think this uh, hearing is uh, hereby adjourned maraming salamat sa inyo lahat